You don't have a happy marriage unless you get scared when she in the room. I love no, all. No, 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 Thank no. You. I, I don't it. agree with that. I don't agree. Oh. What you mean? You can't be walking around just chicken. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So, Pierre, what you be doing when she come here when we recording? I be me. No, you no, don't. You, don't. <laughs> you are Explain the epitome that. of when my wife is around, I'm mute. Right. You don't talk. I don't even right, know your voice all, when your wife in the room. First of all, this, narr- I'm, Shout this out narrative, to Big Jack, Big Capricorn. This, this narrative is not going down. No, that's down. the truth, bro. You, a, listen, you are a church mouse. A church mouse. You all don't right. talk. Listen, Yo, Pierre you, can start believe, th- you can believe what you want. <laughs> Pierre <laughs> start throwing up sign language when his wife is <laughs> here. <laughs> Help <What>? me. <laughs> like, but I get it. Like he he's married to a Capricorn woman, so it. I get it. Oh like, my goodness. They they run that shit. Yeah. You know. And we gonna get a chance to rap it later. You know how we do. Yeah. Yeah. Capricorns kick rocks. You're literally married to one. Don't say that. Facts. So, what the fuck? She, she know my heart. Okay. If he wasn't. I have something on my mind. I have to get out. I'm sorry to interrupt the conversation. What but you think Okay, so guys, more more on this later, but we started a Twitter community. We'll explain, you know, to Chill. really to really cultivate our community, you know, just talk to each other, talk to us, talk directly to us. Mm-hmm. But I want to shut it down because somebody literally just tweeted this to me. Um, it was a video about so how um, we're gonna have an amazing episode today. Right. Okay. I hope so. But then somebody, should I shout him out? Should I give him? I have yeah. no idea. What okay, you make him famous. His yeah. Twitter name is King Dev ninety eight. He tweeted at me. He's like, "You ain't say nothing yet, but I hear the cape in the wind already." Oh shit! And that really okay. I don't know if you guys know, <laughs> but Beyond, know. Beyonce has said before like she likes when somebody pisses her off before she performs because oh, that shit. gives her that like you know she said that drive yes that, that makes her go super hard like Sasha fears she needs I'm that. really so annoyed right now because <laughs> when have I ever blindly caved for J. Cole when have I ever done that Ooh. I've never done I'm that I'm gonna be honest Shaman. you've never needed a reason to until today no when, no when I say like oh that new boss song he dropped and he was featured on that was that was kind of like I've said I don't blindly cave for this man but this is and different and I'm not about to do that today but I'm not like t- if you guys are tuning in thinking I will I'm not I'm <laughs> today is different though Reggie you gotta understand like you were the first person I thought about when I seen what happened this past week. And I also didn't like that either. Now that I'm just airing my grievances. <laughs> like you were the yeah, first yeah. person. Okay, yeah. I, I hit the group chat like, oh my I know, God. No, no, no. That's not what you said. But I said. I, I like. But what, what I, I said? I do. It? I appreciate that you, you thought of me. Okay. But what Savon said was like, yo, I'm hurting for you so much right now. I'm <laughs> like, can you leave me alone? I'm fine. <laughs> no, because like, I'm hurt for you, bro. No, but, but how are you hurt for me when I'm not even hurt? Because like, you shit, you're doing well. You do you 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 know you're putting on for the coalition. For the Dreamville coalition, I ain't going front. You want you look one of the strongest right now. I'm literally yeah. I was laughing at the J. Cole jokes. I was like, this is mad funny. No, like they were funny. Yeah. I was retweeting stuff. So, like I'm I'm fine. Say, well, I'm not crying, no nothing. So if you came <laughs> for Reg. somebody to K for J. Cole, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. It's gonna be me. But Ooh. I love him though. He's still my favorite rapper. If so. he wasn't dissing, then we anyway. I'm gonna stop talking because I feel like <laughs> no. hey, I wanna start on a positive you're, note. I'm sorry, guys. As you're listening to this, because we're gonna get more into this, please join our community on on Twitter, all right? Uh, we we we, uh, we hope to connect with you guys and have fun. I'm definitely going to get in my music bag. Yes, indeed. Right? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that cool stuff. I promise you, we're going we gonna to get to it today. Yo, yes. Alex. Yeah. How, you feel, how, how do you feel knowing that you're the rap whisperer? <laughs> don't do that. Literally. How you feel I'm blushing. That? Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not. I just listen to music. I've I seen a lot of people calling you the rap whisperer. Nah, nah. I That's like that true. nickname. It used to, you used to be the hood's advocate. I Facts. did, I did. But then the hood, they started to sway. Yeah. So some other niggas needed help. Yeah, yeah. So so now I help hood niggas and other niggas. Yeah, other niggas, I yeah. feel you. I feel you. I feel yeah, you. Yeah. The the funny <laughs> thing is, it's not even called Twitter no more. X. Oh no 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 no! It's, it's called Twitter. It's still, I still yeah. call it X. And the mama, the mama calling Twitter. I'm gonna call him Twitter. It's called X. Mama called Twitter. I'm gonna call. I don't I don't know X. You do know X. I, I don't even have an X. You have all the X's. Mm. That's not true. Literally. Mm. On this podcast, out of like us, you are the X Man. Wolverine, that's your nigga. Like, shit funny, that funny. funny. I like shit funny. I like X-Man. Hey, I'm the X Man, right? X Man, you yeah. Wolverine for real. Shit funny, bro. It's you, bro. Yeah. It's dead ass you. Yeah. Alright, Magneto. Real. That's how Alex is the only one that still has good tweets. Dead ass. <laughs> No, we all have great. I feel like we be tweeting our asses no, off. I'm no, me gonna... and Savon, we used to have pop in <laughs> nah, Twitter, nah, nah. but now Twitter changed. I thought we be tweeting our asses. I'm not gonna let you say that. I'm <laughs> not. I'm not gonna let you get that off. Because honestly, yeah. I had one, bro. You had I one, caught bro. one. He was like, so I, I, I caught know, a. Good I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Like it's been a minute. I was like, wait, I got a million next to the next to the oh, name. Oh wait, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I got an M. Let me let me read it, y'all. At Savon Slater, and it's a V for where the A is at because he's trendy. Follow him. If Kendrick really liked that. He'll diss that nigga again. Ooh. Nah, Ooh. Fake. Eh, that's what he was I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was a good tweet. Streets is giving Ooh, me an M. Wow. Ooh, that's a 
go tweet. Yeah, not one million bars. But listen, but, man. Like Alex said, that please would be funny. make sure y'all t- yeah. uh, tap into our ex community. Yeah. It is the need to know community, right? Need to know yeah. community. Yeah. It's anything, really fun. I really like it. It is though. And shout out to everybody who joined before we even made this announcement. Mm-hmm. We do got some baddies in there. Fellas, I know yes, y'all in yes, there. Yes, y'all yes, are tapping. Yes, yes, yes. I am going to be 1000% honest with you, okay? I retired from Twitter. Or X, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, you like barely tweet. I don't yeah. tweet. What does that I don't mean, really. Though? It means I used to be extremely active. I used to look forward to tweeting. Mm-hmm. I used to actually put some effort into it. Yeah. I no longer do that. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you say you don't put an effort to go viral no more. No. You just do it all, <laughs> just, off happenstance. You just do it all, yeah, you hear him, right, Pete? It just happens by accident. Like. Yeah, he just wake up with how be he feeling and go That's viral. Not <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I said. That's not what I said. But yeah. I do want to encourage everybody who is tapped into the podcast. That is the only place that you will ever get a reply from me. That's I know not true. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Savon loves replying. Facts. But I like his lie, so keep going. <laughs> now, that was hard. Keep what getting... do you mean? I'm changing. If you get at him on YouTube, he Ooh, will reply to facts. you. If you get at him on the uh, DMs I like, of Instagram, I like the he'll get the promise that you. he'll only reply to the community. Right. Well, YouTube like is it. different, though. YouTube, I'll reply on YouTube. See? But <laughs> YouTube is not personal because right. I'm replying for us. I hate that. I, I don't need that. I got my own gun. <laughs> I got no way, bro. Yo, I got my I own mean, 45. Yo, wait, nah, no funny. There ain't no problem. When they, silence on that mug. When they diss us on like the YouTube, YouTube? channel, <laughs> I respond from the need to know page. We know. We know. We know. know. But, know. But, but, we know. but to it's make sure to it's not y'all, I always put like dash, dash save on. on. Like it's me. I you need do. y'all to know it's not Reggie Alex. It's me yeah. clapping back at you. Yeah. So if you want like an actual like personable response, you can catch me on Twitter. Go to our spaces, our community. And yeah, come fuck with us, man. Nah, honestly. I'll uh, do that. Woo-hoo. Um, we gotta intro this though. Hey y'all, this is the Need to Know Podcast. What you need to know, what you need to know on the Need to Know Podcast. I'm your boy A as always. Yeah, and like the Pacaro Bone Pie. Hey, 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 you getting excited? It was a different order this time. Okay, no, I, that, that's not Savon's fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you know, no, 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 it's you next. <laughs> yeah, you getting excited? You fucked up though. You get I did, but you supposed to come on. You supposed to catch it. <laughs> See, this is why I like routine. Improv. You're supposed to be good at this. Let's be spontaneous. All right. J. Cole and them got him excited. He talking mm. on my words. <clears throat> this is A as always. The Paco Ramon Poppy. Never alone. I'm always with the posse. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not pause, even like, yeah, wait, yeah, and then wait for my cue. Yeah, we ain't even doing all that, man. It's your boy Savon. What's going on? <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is me, Regina Toretto. You made it. Um, it's the end of an era. The end of my You guys didn't laugh on my Regina Toretto. 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 Yeah, I, was yeah, I, was I just caught it. I just caught it. I was like, wait, 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 what? I just caught it. I was like, damn, like <laughs> tough crowd. Why is it Toretto? Like? Because Dominic Toretto, you know, fast yeah. fears, because yeah. it's the end of an era. You guys know I love to get on this podcast and pretend I can't drive. Mm. I'm actually a very good driver, Fresh. and today I had to to just be open with it. I went to Dreamville Festival, and it's very relevant this week because we're going to talk about it. Yeah. In North Carolina, I went with Land Rover. I was, you know, I was excited. I was expecting it to be a good trip, but I was not prepared for what I, like, experienced. <laughs> Literally one of the best experiences of my life. We mm-hmm. road trip to Dreamville and the Defenders. I think they, like, sponsored Dreamville Festival because I saw a lot of the Dreamville artists, like, posting with the cars. <sighs> A lot to get into. I, I, nah, I can't even, honestly, I can't ju- even talk about my trip because I just wanted to talk about she, she, she dressing <laughs> this sorry, up real. Like, she dressing this up real nice, y'all. Ah, myself, my eyes, four eyes. I got two of them, plus the glasses. <laughs> I seen Reggie in the Land Rover. Facts. Driving it sideways. Literally, diagonal. Hand. Driving on one wheel. Motherfucker, the, the road like, was to the left. Yo, she was in the air. And I literally, you you know, I would be real with you guys and be like, yo, I really did terribly. I'm so embarrassed. I would, I feel like it would be funny. I would bring it up on the pod, be honest. But I did so well. Like literally the instructor, <laughs> was, the instructor was like, wow, that was excellent. Like I was very calm. <laughs> we were literally tipping over, going to ditches, waterfalls, all that shit. I was like, wow. I'm so, a new woman, guys. For somebody like myself, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for someone like myself, like when I I hear a rover, I always think of range. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? The range rover. Mm-hmm. Same family. What's the difference between the land and the range? Land rover, I will say, I oh. feel like people won't take me seriously because I literally just oh. went on a trip yeah. with them. But land rover, the technology for them to go over like terrain, yes. it would the ground would literally be like this. Mm-hmm. They the it knows how to like, okay, raise this Adjust. wheel and then just mm-hmm. like it's smooth. Uh, it land was rover. the most amazing experience ever. Land like, rover is ah! more for like rough so terrain. Like, hold up, I literally. Know that I yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're saying you got a bag without us. 
Yo, wow. um, I'm not she legally allowed crazy. to nah, nah, discuss that. Nah, so. We don't know what you're talking about. That's crazy. Yo, be your own niggas going on. Well, shit. But wait, why, why she's doing the self self promotion? Let me do my own. Can I do my own? <laughs> yo, shout out to the Webbies, you know what I mean? First place, can't afford therapy. <laughs> wait, you know, what? Y'all won? Oh, yeah, no, won? We're in first place. God, we didn't oh, win yet. Oh, shit. I thought I you said won. First place. I thought y'all won. I said first place. Oh, You know what I'm saying? First place is fine. First place is something J. Cole doesn't know about. So we're going to talk about it here. First place. Right, the Webbies on. continue okay. to vote. All right, we got the link and then uh, the Can Afford Therapy bio. Shout out to Josh. Shout out to Internet. We're doing amazing things over there. Yeah. Honestly, I am not gonna lie to you. The news cycle has really, really tested me in a way that I did not expect to be tested. When what it comes to therapy, when it comes to self reflection, when it comes to being a black man, we're gonna get to it all. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. But again, you got a plug, right? Shout mm-hmm. out to Land Rover. Shout, shout out to the Wavy. Shout out to the Wavy. Alex, what you want to shout out? Alex next. Yeah, pockets. His, no. <laughs> dude, you that's do? funny. You got to watch on YouTube. You think he's talking about money. Alex got a million uh, pockets on right now. I do. I got a, I got a record coming out on my birthday. <gasps> Wait, what? what? Wow, breaking news. Okay, Aries King. That's crazy. So y'all just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to the boys. Yeah, Damn, fuck boom. my announcement. <laughs> <laughs> now you was riding Land Rovers in the air and shit. You shit fire. Look at us all flourishing. Look at us. And let's ruin it by talking about J. Cole. So you, you made it. Well, before we even get to J. Cole, how oh, okay. was your experience at Dreamville? What was the energy like before J. Cole ruined his legacy? Oh my God. <laughs> Dance, no, I want to hear before and after. So I'm literally a Dreamville Fest veteran. I've been all four years. Um, it's all it's always my favorite festival of the year because it's just friendly. It's in North Carolina. It's like a f- real family vibe. That's what I always tell people. This year, I'll be completely honest. I think their lineup was the weakest it's been. Um, mm. so the lineup wasn't that great. People had good performances, but I'm saying Brown, like the artists themselves. Yeah, because Brown backed out last minute, right? Yeah, and then replaced with Fifty Cent, which I was, I was happy with. But people were like not happy with that. But who cares about their opinion? Um, <laughs> Um, but the budget itself for the festival was cr- they went all out. We got free massages, free hookah, um, hookah. lots of display. Yes, you hookah. Did- literally, yeah. yeah they, they what sent, the fuck? They sent Reggie a text. Your hookah is ready, ma'am. Literally, literally, go on my Instagram. <laughs> the Reggie, fuck? now save on tight. Yeah, it was yeah, mad artists at Dreamville. He wasn't tight about none of that. As soon as they said it was a hookah line, this nigga mad. He's like, I why did I go? There. <laughs> it was a vibe, like, and they also built like this new like MVP section where you could. Um, sit in like the bleachers like it was crazy the festival itself was great so you telling me but that, now yeah so you telling me there was a lot of comfort yeah. at the festival hmm? see that this? that should have been like sign one. Oh my god stop <laughs> no for real because think about all the festivals like if you go mm-hmm. to a Travis Scott one you may not make it out like real yeah. sure. oh get trampled if you go to if you go to OVO Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a little bit more energy. If you go to Dreamville, you're comfortable and shit. I don't want to be comfortable <laughs> when I go to festivals. That's why I don't was, go to it festivals. It was very like, lux- luxurious. Yeah, yeah. Y'all asked me on yeah. the last episode, maybe two episodes ago, y'all was like, yo, how do you feel about festivals, Savon? And what did I say? So said you hate him. He's not a festival guy. I hate him because you yeah. can't get comfortable. Yeah, you just so have to if, stand for like 18 hours. I'm going to a nigga's <laughs> festival and I'm comfortable. There's hookah, lounges, mm. That might be some women. foresight. Yeah, it sounded... That might be some foresight, her, her bro. Her description like, sounded very lax. That's too... Right? That's I was too very vibey. at peace. Very at peace. That's Amazing weekend. Guys, I can't get into the peaceful shit. Just go on my Instagram. I have a good recap because I want to go straight into... Now people, I can't even, people can't even talk about how good the festival itself was organized because now all you think about is mm. fucking J. Cole. Well, well, let me tell you this one thing about peace, right? There's nothing wrong with it. There ain't nothing wrong with peace, right? Okay. But when peace gets disrupted, Pierre, okay. when peace gets disrupted, that's when you had a problem. Wait, fuck. My Instagram stopped working. I was trying to do shit on Q and shit. <laughs> <laughs> my, like, when peace stopped working. Nah, nah, cue, cue it back up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cue it back up and shit. Yeah, I'm going to cue it. No, Mother you're good. Fuck. Don't worry about it. All, right, copy, copy. All I know is that <laughs> from the vibe that you, like from the picture that you're painting, because you were there, like you had mm-hmm. boots on ground at Dreamville. Literally. A lot of us really don't have that experience. Some True. of us listeners, they, I, I know there's a few people that tapped in who were there. Mm-hmm. You were actually there. Mm-hmm. I don't think people, it really didn't hit what was happening in real time. You really had to couple it with um, like everyone's reaction to really realize like, oh shit, this just happened. We really witnessed something in like hip hop history, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, let's get into it. No matter who did what to who at this point, fact is we went to war and now there ain't no going back. I mean, shit, it's what war is, you know, <laughs> once you in it. You in it. If it's a lie, then we fight on that lie. Oh, my 
my god. That's crazy. That was that was good. This shit sounds even better, bro. It sounds better. It feels better. I might get this song tatted. Oh shit. It does sound more. This nigga is not like that. <laughs> He's not. It's sad, oh. bro. This does sound very victorious. It like, sounds nah, it, like it, I'm it, him. It does. It sounds like an. It like, sounds like. Huh? <laughs> now, now, what? listen. Can we talk about the title really quickly? Are you like that? What? Is, uh, that's why I wanted to start today. Though. I feel like Just that's go. a perfect name for the title because. That's exact. That's exact. Not like that. Damn. You just took. You just took you just, I, I was no. I said it so. I thought, gonna, I thought we were gonna say it at the same time, guys. Nah, nah, but it's all good. I wanted you to get that off because okay. I wanted. I wanted the ISO you, for you to say that because mm -hmm. that's your man. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yo, like that. Like that might be one of the greatest hip hop titles of all time. Real talk. Hear me out. Do you know how impressive, how how euphoric it must feel? For one side to be on the hook of a song and say, if you really like that, because mm, I'm really like that. And then for the other party to retreat and say, nah, I, I'm actually not. Do like, you know how creatively emphatic that is? But also like he didn't. And he said it in front of 50,000 people. Yeah, but Cole didn't tap out because Kendrick threw a, a haymaker at him and landed all of them. Huh. He said, Yo, I felt I didn't feel right. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and protect my energy. Hold on, Cole okay. fan. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, slow down, slow, yo, down, slow down, slow down. I know it's been a week. I know it's making like close to a week. Slow mm -hmm. it down. We're gonna get there. All right. Savon, where should we go back to? Reggie, where should we go back to, right? Because since the last time we recorded, J. Mm -hmm. Cody even put out a project, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, my delete later, the project, genuinely, I love it. I literally listened to it on way here. I think the project itself was really good, but now obviously seven minute drill overshadows everything. So I think J. Cole underestimated the power of his words. And I feel like we get on this podcast, me personally, on I know, mm -hmm. just in, in general. Definitely in because, general, definitely because he said something he didn't mean and it literally took him out. Your like, words are everything. Yeah. Your, like everything that you put out into the world, it, 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 I believe at least. I yeah. believe that your thoughts become things. Yeah. So when you think something, especially when you say something, it has the potential to manifest. Now, I know a lot of people take these things literal and be like, hey, I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. No, that doesn't, that's not gonna make you a millionaire. Mm -hmm. But if you put in the work, mm -hmm. if you actually do the things that make you or put you in a position to be a millionaire, I believe personally, you have a higher chance because you're telling yourself, you're telling the universe, you're telling God, whatever it is mm -hmm. that you your believe in, become you are manifesting these things. Yeah. That's why you see a lot of successful people, they'll tell you the power of words because it's a real Absolutely. thing. Like Manifesting it subconsciously. We always go, and I'm not even going to stay here too long, but we talk about Jim Carrey a lot on this podcast. You Everybody do. knows. You, you, you do. Talk I, about I, 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 I. <laughs> I Plural, that. singular. You that's can. my man. Yeah. But I thought it was weak. <laughs> nah. Like when I shoot at niggas on YouTube, that's weak. I got my own gun. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought it was us. No. If I'm dissing niggas from the Need to Know podcast, mm -hmm. that's you being selfish. Like from the YouTube, it's us. Nah. It's actually not us because you literally yeah. told me to not sit on camera when you guys did that. <laughs> that so actually, it's actually not uh, us. Uh, you know what? You got it. <laughs> but yeah. one of the things, like manifestation, the power of words. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a story Jim Carrey says before he ever made ten million, twenty million dollars, he wrote a check to himself for twenty million dollars. Fast forward a few years later, he was the first actor in Hollywood to book a role for $20 million. Mm. Now, again, it doesn't work like that unless you're actually putting in the mm. work. I believe that all of us on this couch, all of us on this podcast, and a few of our listeners, right. they say things to themselves. They say things to their friends. A lot of people who listen to us are in the creative space, in the arts, and you can manifest these things. I think J. Cole manifested this moment. I can see that. With what I, specific words? I, yeah. When it comes to saying, hey, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, mm -hmm. I believe he said those things, but he really didn't mean it. Trying to trying to make himself believe what he's saying type he did, thing? He didn't mean it. Okay. He mm -hmm. didn't mean it. Yeah. Which led him to get on the stage. Even yeah. have to, to face create it. Have to the face it. worst. This is... This is a top <laughs> five outside of all the niggas that be dying in hip hop. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, yeah. that's which is which, the game. Which bro. is true because oh, it's like there's been a lot of worse things that happen, guys. No, there's like, been a lot of worse things. But in I'm, rap? I'm, I'm keeping it in artistry. I'm not talking about like tragedy. Okay. Because there's a lot of okay. tragedy in hip hop. But in artistry and hip hop, this is a top five, top three worst moment ever. 
Oh, somebody like a J. Cole. Nah, Easy. No, nah, no. Nah. I think it would have been worse if he didn't put out an album or a track and then bow down. Wait, wait. No, wait. I think people would have forgotten about it easily hold easier on. when if, if, if he didn't do anything. Cole fans going fast today. I need y'all <laughs> to drive Miss D- Daisy today. All right, all right. Okay. Y'all in the see you driving on them Land Rovers. Got your foot on the pedal. <laughs> I know. That's why in the intro I was like, let me shut up so that we could take a good pace. Because I'm heated. What I want to go back to before Savon so eloquently broke down what he thought J. Cole committed, right? The music on Might Delete Later, right? Mm-hmm. Let's talk about my Andre 3000. Andre 3000. I got mad at uh, 3K because I'm a big fan of 3K. And I saw moments of imposter syndrome that maybe I missed out on mm-hmm. at first because, you know, I'm just so enamored by his art, his rap styles, etc. My Delete Later was previewed to us over and over again on YouTube clips. We didn't know what it was, right? We didn't know if it was going to be a song, you know, it was going to be a project, etc. And lo and behold, it's a surprise project. I'm like, all right, cool, surprise. It ain't bad. And when it came, I liked a lot of the music. How was y'all feeling the music? I liked it. 12 tracks, right? 12 tracks. Uh, Personal faves real quick. Pricey. I like the Cameron verse. Mm-hmm. I like yeah. HYB with Central C. Mm-hmm. Hey y'all, this is this is. I sep- like Trail the Truth and Ibiza. That's my favorite song. Me too. I like that a lot. Also, we're gonna have to have a Central C conversation for all you niggas that don't like all that UK rap. I'm sorry, we're gonna have that conversation that soon. Dope. I like Fever too. Yeah, Fever's I like cool. Fever too. It sounded like Drake Camp, right? Because it was a good project because he was gonna drop this project anyway. He yeah. was preparing yeah. to drop it, Talk and about then that. now, yeah, Talk because he yeah. was he's been titling stuff might delete later and dropping and stuff leading up to this. That's why I think the project is good because he genuinely was planning to drop a project, and then last minute he, this like that Kendrick verse came and he's like, oh shit, I should do something on this project. That's why yeah. it felt forced. It mm-hmm. felt. Not truly calculated, yeah. and it showed. But you want to know what's confusing? Because he walked it all the way back. What's confusing for me is a nigga that would label the project might delete later when he's been calling himself the best for so long. Kind of, kind of, I kind of see what Savon is saying. Like, has Buddy just been trying to convince himself? <laughs> it's like when you hide in plain sight. It's hiding yeah, in plain yeah. sight. Um, so I'm working on a project right now at HBO. Um, the documentary is called The Jinx. Oh. Have I've you seen heard that. of it? I've seen the that. Jinx. I've seen that poster, yeah. It's about a story of a guy who's alleged killer, alleged, right? Um, he's killed, allegedly, his ex-wife, his best friend, and his neighbor. His neighbor, he actually did get found um, truthful of killing. Like, he killed his neighbor, he actually killed but his neighbor. the defense was self-defense, so okay. he actually got off. The creepy thing about that is yeah. he cut his neighbor... So, he chopped his neighbor up and threw him in a lake. Allegedly. Allegedly. No, that ass, no. <laughs> I'm I'm kidding, I'm I just you wanted have, to say it. You're no. right. You defended everybody today. <laughs> I, name one time I defended Jake. No, Cole, so no, Ro- Ro- Robert Durst. You guys are not about to put, put the cold nah. stand label on me right I know, now. Because you're, you're not. No, no. You're not. You're well, good. I am, I am. But there's a lot out there. You're good. <laughs> yeah. But in yeah. the story with the whole jinx, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he actually did kill his neighbor in quote unquote self defense. But where it got a little bit suspicious is because. He chopped his neighbor up, put him in bags, multiple bags, oh and God. threw it in the river, right? But <laughs> he, did, he, he didn't serve any jail time because the jury said, hey, this was self-defense. Really? But there was one juror who said, yo, yeah, it was self-defense, but why did he chop up the body, right? He didn't have like, to if you're that. fighting for your life, you just go fight for your life and be like, oh, shit, my yeah. bad. And I once he you, dies, dog. he dies. Well, yeah, it's like, yeah. I, I'm not this good where I'm going to have the wherewithal to be like, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to chop this body up and I'm going to get rid of it and throw it in there, right? So mm. that's where the suspicion lies. Yeah. But this guy, he's free. He's not in jail um, at the time of this documentary. And he's, in my opinion, has been hiding in plain sight, right? Right, right? There are people who hide in plain sight. So I think J. Cole telling himself and telling the world, hey, man, I'm number one, UNO, number one, like all of this shit in hindsight, when you hear him get on stage and act like a hoe and i hate saying that <laughs> Yo, that's, okay. why are you acting Wait. like a hoe bro you so, can't apologize this is a competitive sport I, bro I, I, we, I don't get this. we are co- I, we are r&b like yeah talk to me look my, y'all got I'm my stressed. man getting frustrated I'm stressed, bro it's I'm like my man getting frustrated i'm upset bro. okay well let, let's get to the start of this uh the upsetness for me at least right seven minute drill 
If you listen to this song, sound good no if more. If you listen to this song, does this not sound like a knockoff like that with a southern bop? I it's, think he did that purposely. I, I, I know I, he, he did. He thought he he was gonna yeah. It sounds ass. I'm gonna tell you why I had beef at. I hate this, bro. I'm gonna tell you why I had beef at. Look. Huh? He said his dog. His dog says, say the word. Any nigga that really, that looks like they put in work, all right, you lie on some verses, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to let you get it off. <laughs> okay. If you look like, yo, you might have caught a body or two, I'm going to let you get it off. Cole, you my guy. We know you went to Red Storm. We know you went to St. John's. We know it was a dollar in the dream. We know it was a dollar for the concert. I never got a hood from you. So as I'm listening to 7 Minute Drill, I'm like, once again, is he acting out of body? Is he not acting like himself? See, I didn't think that. Because really? I think there's a lot of people who, and um, you know who said this really well? <laughs> Fuck, what's this nigga's name? He's, who? He's locked up right now. And it's we may have to cut this. But yeah. battle rapper, he's Joe's friend. Surf. Surf. Through the wave. Facts. Surf said this Jersey. before. He was like, there's a lot of people that are street adjacent. Yes. Hood adjacent, right? Like, Hood adjacent. I'm yep. not in the street. But I'm of, I see. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I take J. Cole to be one of those people who maybe he wasn't in the street and then somebody like a Wale who mm-hmm. we're going to talk about later. Mm. Like these guys aren't street dudes. Yeah, but, but more most, adjacent. Most black people, yeah, yeah. most of us, right. even if we not in the street, we know somebody who's really in it or like mm-hmm. we not that far from it. Mm-hmm. So when he speaks about mm-hmm. his experience, I don't look at him like he's a fraud. I'm or that just he's like, trying to be yeah, from the street. Yeah, I don't think he tries to be from the street. I think mm-hmm. anybody has a man who they could call right now and who's really with that shit. You no, know what I'm sure. saying? Like, no, so sure. when he said, yo, my man's like, yo, I'm with that action. Yeah. I'm like, all right, we all got somebody who we really knows with that action. In comparison to Kendrick Lamar though. Right, the hood adjacent uh, angle you're taking, mm-hmm. you're so right. There's so many people that really be, most of us, yeah, most of us, facts, be doctors, but facts. really know a killer at home, facts. right? Like, <laughs> like I get it. Isn't that crazy? You, no, it's so crazy. As a black experience, like, yeah. no matter how high we get, we can always call a killer. It's great. It is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of stuff. I ain't gonna lie, that shit lit. <laughs> fuck that, that shit lit. Okay. Yeah. Fuck that degree, man. We're, because we're layered. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. We're layered, sure, and sure. if anything, like Kendrick has shown me a ton of layers. And who he is, when you're talking about a nigga who's really from Compton, right? I don't want to take away from the Ville. I don't want to. I know how the Ville gets. Shout out to my son Fabi. He was raised out there. I know that North Carolina gets down like that. Mm -hmm. I know there were a lot of hood adjacent people there. Like I don't want to take from that. But when you're speaking to a nigga that's really from Compton, and when we say Compton, we mean Los Angeles, right? The gang capital of the world. I don't need that from you. I don't. Because if anything, I'm siding with the nigga that shot first. Who really from the capital of the killings, mm-hmm. right? Let me let me continue to show you why I really got tight at though. I agree. It's and like, I said this on this podcast. Oh my god! Because so, I agree. Okay, let's fight. So I agree. this reminds me <laughs> of when. Okay, so the well, the line that I'm referring to is when J Cole was like, "Your second shit was tragic," meaning to to butterfly, right? And yes. saying that the album wasn't good, Kendrick. Like that's what he's saying. That reminds me of when Drake was trying to diss Rihanna and being like, "Your sex wasn't even that good." Like we don't <laughs> believe you, bro. That's like, a good take. We don't like. That's a good take. Because and this is coming. I just want to. Okay, I just want to get this. Please. I, like, I know I'm skipping ahead, but I just want to get this out of the air. Like, I still love J. Cole. I'm not, like, a fickle fan. Like, he's still, like, my favorite rapper. I, like, everything is fine. You're king. I don't <laughs> agree with what he did, though. Like, I'm not defending him. Yeah. I think two things can be true. I'm not abandoning him. I'm not abandoning my Cole community. I still love him, respect mm-hmm. him. I honestly don't think of him that differently, like, because I'll explain later, but... This like rehearing this verse after everything is yeah. crazy. I'm gonna like, t- I'm gonna what t- the I- hell? I'm so happy yeah. Reggie said what that. What the hell was he thinking? I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> That's Reg- real. Reggie, real. Reggie, I'm not like I don't know if I ever admitted this to you, but you are like my conscience. She like, don't live inside you, no, nigga. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. I don't listen. know how to. No, listen, bro. All right, listen. Listen. All, right, bro. all right, my fault. Before I do something irrational, <laughs> I think in Reggie voice. <laughs> like, before what I Reggie say, do? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how J. Cole said, I let Nas down? 
Like when I, I be doing Reggie some down. fuck shit, bro, I be like, damn, I let Reggie down. I, let Reggie down. I really do think Savon does this. Like when he makes bad decisions, <laughs> I could tell that you like Reggie would be so mad at me I right now. So, <laughs> so like I let Reggie down. So for her to say this, for her to feel like this, yeah. I feel like I'm on the right side. Of I history. do think yeah. how he moved was not <laughs> Correct. <laughs> like it, Cole, like come See, on. But at the same time, I'm not abandoning him. Like you I'm, should've. I still you love, should've. like I'm not forgetting the decades worth of music that changed my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't See, think he was and I love that. Uh I'm gonna talk to you right now, Mr. Man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the whole uh to pip a butterfly discourse, critique. That shit was Hold on. We started that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Hold on now. You know what happened last week? All right. See that that uh that verbiage is more tolerable from the younger kids. It's more tolerable from people who, no disrespect, like you know Playboy Cardi type music, or just they don't really appreciate lyricism. It was very disappointing mm -hmm. to hear uh, a J Cole, somebody who we consider to be a, a high level lyricist, who probably loves the pim to pimp a butterfly, who probably like loves to pimp a butterfly, try to downplay it, and for reasons because. J. Cole also made an album around a message and what's going on in the world. Did he? K.O.D. Mm -hmm. About drugs. K.O.D. was centered around um, the rap industry and, like Reggie was saying, the, um, the drug use, mm -hmm. the overdosing, the et cetera, right? Just speaking to a time in hip-hop where, you know, we were... People were, like, lost. People were lost yeah, with the yeah. drugs, right? And mm -hmm. that, and it meant something to you. Like, you centered... The, even when you look at the album cover, right? It's him on a throne, right? And it looks like it's all of these rappers, right? Underneath him or something like that, right? And he looked to be drugged out, etc. So, that was very disappointing for me. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, dog, what could be boring? <laughs> like, if we really want to go boring, Cole... <laughs> We could, we could, we could go through the catalog. <laughs> you feel me? For you to say that after putting out KOD is insanity to me, bro. Like, well, that's, that's insanity to me. The, it's well, not his best album. You know why it's not insanity is because he didn't believe anything that he said on Seven Minute Drill. He didn't. It, there was no passion. Mm -hmm. It felt in his reluctant. Voice. Yeah. yeah, it was like I have to do this. It almost feels like somebody put a gun to his head and said, "Nigga, be a rapper." I mean, yeah. that's basically <laughs> no, but that's basically like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, that's that what was a, that was a point of his speech yeah. where he was like, "Guys, I I know you guys are telling me that what what Savon said like it sounded reluctant, didn't sound like he meaned it." He said that in his Dreamville Festival speech, he's like, "Yo, I only did this because I was pressured to do it." Like, yeah, I'm said, literally telling you guys. You guys are telling me I shouldn't have shot first, whatever. I shouldn't mm -hmm. have done this if I'm not really competitive like Should that. I play it? And no. but in a speech, he said, "Yes, I made a mistake, guys. Like that is but what I'm literally telling you guys. Even, I'm owning up to it." Even before that, he said he his uh, his phone was getting flooded. Everybody was like, "Yo, like what what you gonna do? Like, Get the off your phone, nigga. <laughs> the pressure off your so, phone." So so you mean to tell me we've never done things because at some point because we felt pressured? No. Right. If anything, we actually had a, dis a dispute on this podcast about how I don't engage in it. Also, but right. also, mm. none about. of us are like the big three and feeling the pressure of the world to two. respond to Kendrick There's Lamar. no big three. Like, oh, oh, that thing done, baby. Yeah, we that can't... big three is over. You know how Ice Cube used to have the yeah. big three? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That nigga got the two on two. <laughs> okay, that is where I draw a lot. Everyone's being so dramatic. It. No, he Every, got the two guys. on two. It's the two Reggie, on two. Reggie Pierre. Oh, I want y'all to... We're holding tryouts in just ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> y'all just, y'all just whoever y'all, yeah. we we're holding tryouts. I agree with that. For that third, but before we hold tryouts, yeah. let's get into what Cole said on the Dreamville stage. For one part, it's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now, like, nah, nah I don't do that. But I gotta keep it a hundred with y'all. Right? Sometimes you gotta listen to your niggas. I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all, y'all, y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game. Yeah, right? we heard it. So did you. Clearly. He called it a bazooka. So all of this time of me moving on my own accord. He's a fan. For the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? He's a fan. Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you gonna do, Cole? And that is the moment where that was the first moment where I was like, you know what? He's admitting to not being like these other two guys. Because I don't think that Drake or Kendrick would allow his niggas to influence him to do anything. 
I think they know the place that they hold in hip hop. I think they know. Like, my niggas can't relate or or, or persuade me to do anything when I'm in a position like that Mm -mm. because they can't relate. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't understand what it is to hold the crown. Y'all don't understand what it is to have this type of weight on you. And I'm not saying that he, no, I am saying that. He's not built for it. But. He's not, and you that's o- that's, that's what, okay I, I for him ag- not to be built for. I don't agree with that. He said it. How couldn't you agree? with I, You that? don't agree with him? No, I'm he saying the, the way the way you're. I mean, it's the way it's being painted is crazy. How is it being painted? Right, so he, let's, he let's, painted the picture. I'm saying, but the way everyone I feel is taking it is being is crazy. I'm listening. So you mean to tell me, right? If if you just look at the human side of it, you've never had a friend, a good matter of fact, a brother that you kind of. Jabbed that and you wasn't you was like, ah, right, you know what? I probably shouldn't have done that. And you wanted to retract your steps. Pierre, let me ask you a question real I, quick. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay. I, I oh, also shit. I also know that two like Reggie said, two things could be true. Mm. If it's a time of war, everybody mm. wanna see war. So I could understand where like, all right, we're waiting for you to just go crazy and all of a sudden you bow out. Mm. We don't like that. I understand that. Mm. But I also recognize the fact that yo, he had a human experience. He's mm-hmm. like, Man, you really my man's and like I did what I did, and I feel like I did you wrong, so I'm gonna just you know back up. Pierre, rap is a sport, right? Absolutely. Boxing is a sport, right? Absolutely. I want you to imagine Muhammad Ali <laughs> throwing a jab at Frazier, and immediately after the jab, apologizing to him when realizing, hey, we're in a boxing match, right. we're sparring. Mm-hmm. This ain't no East Coast mm-hmm. versus West Coast. Yeah, also, we're not trying to kill each other. We're just trying to, like, yeah. box. This ain't hit him yeah. up. But you missed a, a very integral part of what I'm listening. said is it didn't feel right with his spirit. Okay, so let me. you want me to keep playing a little bit? Let's Go play. Ahead. All right, let's play, let me play the rest. Niggas like, bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Boom, 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 right? They try to warn you, nigga. Niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because... One, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone right chase. There. I think we could just like keep playing the thing and like keep reacting yes, to it. Absolutely. I like yeah. that format. That I, format. Like yeah. I like it. So I like when, it. When, when he says that right there, right? When yeah. he's like, yo, these two guys that I'm blessed to stand next to. For me, that just says, nigga say I'm a honest. fan. He said you're honored to I'm be around the niggas. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm honored to be, no, legit. Like, yeah. there's been times where you have stepped in a room, and you're like, wait, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> no, yeah, you're Like, right. all of us have been there in our career. Even though you've been there for a while, it still doesn't sink in, Even right? Even though you know yeah. you've put in all the work yeah. to earn this spot, mm-hmm. to earn your right to be in this room, to be at this dinner, to be in this meeting, you look around, and you're like, oh, my God, I cannot believe I am talking well, to X, Y, and Z. Like again, he didn't I, say all that. He didn't say, "Oh my God, I can't believe I'm here." He why, said, "Yo, that, I'm very I'm blessed saying. to have these peers." That's and, that's what he said. Actually, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's literally nothing mm-hmm. wrong with that. I feel like you, you're putting a little sauce on it, no, like no, the no, whole no, no. fan I'm shit. Not, it, huh? It's okay it's to be. He's sauce. a fan of the sport. He's a fan of the yes, art. He, is. he right. just happened to Which also be. He happens to be a participant with a very, 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 very rare skill set. He called himself Muhammad Ali. Also, there's a moment, and maybe, I don't know if you have mm-hmm. this queued up or not, and if you don't, that is completely fine. But what any it, of bro? our listeners, if you go to Sticks and Stones on the last album, there's a line that he says at a minute and 20, where even as of last week, he's still proclaiming to be the best. He's still saying, mm-hmm. I am yeah. him. Those bars definitely don't hit anymore. They don't hit. <laughs> like, and it says, I don't really believe this. I'm just in the... I went to 120. Run that right there. You talked over right him. Right there. <laughs> Pause it. He said, niggas don't want no smoke with me. I'm one of the ones. ones. And he literally showed the opposite. This was, you get what I'm saying? This was on the album or the project or the mixtape, whatever you want to call it. Like he literally said, niggas don't want no smoke with me. I'm one of the ones. So if you are putting this energy out into the world, when the smoke is at your door and you don't answer the call, it's me just saying like, oh shit, you're just a fan and you know what you had to do to 
played his role. I feel like he's an actor. I feel like what he said was in a, this particular situation. I in my like, opinion, I feel like what he said on the stage was a, was a very up to date and recent feeling that he had. He, I'm pretty sure he didn't have it when he was making Bro, the album. When you the say you are the best, Pierre, respectfully, I, I respectfully, that. you I, are my friend. I get that. You are my man. This is so we, funny. We have real personal, Talk to like me. intertwined conversations and even friendly competition. Yeah. In a friendly competition, <laughs> we want to still win and destroy each other. Absolutely. And I, I, I when I you're get working that. out, yep. and you in that groove, and you like, yo, Savon, yo, you work out today, nigga. You did your squats today, nigga. <laughs> you hit my phone every day at five a.m. to ask me if I'm at the gym. Is this what fucking men do? <laughs> right? Jesus Christ! When, when we play video games together, <laughs> you don't take it easy on me. Hell no. I don't Take it easy. Yeah. So what you? makes it so different now, Peter? I, I tell you, and, I'm and glad you asked me. After that. you win, okay. or after I, whatever the case may be, I'm talking I mash. dap you up. Okay. You talk shit. Yeah. I gotta take that. Fact. But there's still love. There's no love lost right. even in the competition. Right, but I I tell you right now, if if I were to ever play you in a game or did something to you where I felt like in my spirit, like I, I did you wrong, I, I might have to take that L and let you know, like, yo, like my fault. You may not you may not think anything of it, but if I and myself it's, feel wrong, yeah, like I wronged you, yeah, you gotta but, remember also he look at the the extent of their relationship, right? Um in 2013, he had an altercation with Diddy, right? Uh Cole had an altercation with Diddy and it was alleged that mm -hmm, it was over Kendrick. Mm. Right? So if you're willing to go up against the Diddy diddler? at the time, the, right? diddler. the diddler at the, the time. Diddler is crazy for your oh, man. <laughs> you know I'm what I mean? I'm never putting my life on the I'm never putting so, my ass on the line against yo, the diddler. Not the ass. Not for real. Against up. the diddler is crazy. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I, I'm sorry. I know, I know we all want to like really say our point. I just have to respond to that. Like I just yeah. want to say like when I, I get what Pierre's saying. Like, oh, like, you know, if it felt wrong, my spirit, like I just had to get off my chest. I get that. And I respect that. You know, he really wanted to just like just just literally like fix that within himself and let it out i respect it but he could have just if he really felt like he wronged kendrick you could just text him yeah. okay a, just don't yeah. don't put this chink in your armor in front of m not even fifty thousand that were at the concert millions and trillions of people that have seen mm -hmm. it by now mm -hmm. who will just take this and remember this i don't think his legacy is finished by the way i think people are being mad fucking nah. dramatic with that yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you really, really, really feel remorse when you're like, man, I, I fucking should not have said that about my mm. guy, Kendrick. Just call him. Yes. Like, now, call him. Like, go, there's, like, there's, a way, there's a way to take your L, yo. Real shit, bro. That's, that's Pierre, my position on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pierre, I want you, I, Pierre, I want you to remember what J. Cole has been saying and doing for the past one to two years. Three. Three years. When he get on somebody's feature, Three. when he put out goes a single. crazy. He like, goes crazy and he keeps reminding us, hey, yo, fuck all y'all niggas. I'm the best. It's me. Okay, I know y'all, this is a big deal to me. He called himself Muhammad Ali. That's what he's supposed Ooh, to do. Pound for pound. At the time, that's what he was supposed to do. But, 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 but that, so that's my thing though, right? Okay. So at the time, if that's what you were supposed to do, you were supposed to understand what you had to continue to do because of yeah. what you said. But I didn't want to continue. So I, so okay, you mean, cool. So, you mean, so now, but so hold on, you know, hold on, hold on, you should have never Cole, said it. Cole, hold on. Cole when you Muhammad a... Ali, nigga, I'm here for a purpose, for bro. a reason. Do we know who Muhammad Ali is, like, bro? What are, you, what are you talking about? Bro. So what? And, like, and Jake, what do you mean, Pierre, so what? Just last week on this so, podcast, okay. I talked about how niggas be throwing rocks and hot in their hands. I was going right? to that up here. Yeah. This is exactly the definition of that. Again, bro, you went like Kendrick was chilling. My son Kendrick was somewhere in Peru in a Land Cruiser, no phone, Land no Rover. socks. Land Rover, my fault. Shout out to Land Rover. Land and Rover. My son was in Peru in a Land Rover. <laughs> yeah, no, bro, okay. no, no Wi Fi. My nigga, he got the iPhone 4. So just <laughs> so you can't even update the iPhone, Fact. meaning the shit don't got no internet connection. <laughs> okay. Kendrick was minding his business all the way over there chilling. And then he keep hearing y'all niggas, man. But again, at first, when you first hear shots, you don't know who it's directed towards, right? right? But you know you one of them, and you know that Cole been on a run. Mm -hmm. So my son Kendrick been over in the tuck like, well, damn, how many more features is he going to say he the best? Then the nigga linked up with the boy that I got a problem with and called himself Muhammad Ali. After a while, bro, you got to look in the mirror and go... Damn! What did I do to start this? I right. started it. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, 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 like your I, spirit I was off that. when like, you laid these on. verses. When you laid these tracks, your spirit was off when you said it. But like, also, why is nobody even thinking about that? Like, when you got in the booth and said, "I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm this. I'm that." You, I'm the best like, ever. You also have to remember. There's right? no Alexander. I'm Alexander. When you get <laughs> into the studio, 
when you decide to turn on the microphone, when you decide to press record, play, mix, and go out, right? When you publish anything, yeah, you know what you said. You can record something well, you can a million it. times. You can regret saying. it. You but can what I'm it. saying is you can record something a million times and be like, yeah, I don't like that take. Or maybe I want to yes. change this. If you really don't feel that way. Yes. And this is just proof he never felt anything that he was saying. And that's okay if mm -hmm. you just never say it to the world. And when you know, like, you weaponize your fan base. You weaponize the people who support you. You weaponize everything mm -hmm. that rap and hip hop is built off of mm -hmm. when you get on these tracks and you say it and then you know people believe it yeah because when he got on a song with Benny the Butcher my dad my dad's an old school old head rap nigga <coughs> he want to hear the locks he want to hear Cameron he want to hear Hove he want like yeah. my my like the 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 OGs in my life there's a period of time where there's no rapper or no song that yes. will ever be better than the shit that was made from 1998 to about 2005. And that's just what it is. And that's just what it is, right? <laughs> yeah. That's the golden era of rap. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. right. But when my pops and his peers and the OGs from that era heard J. Cole rapping the way that he was against a Benny the Butcher, against a Royce the Five Nine. They shot Glocks in there. They said, you know, he's him. He's him. Mm -hmm. Which is, by the way, which is why I'm like, his like he's not finished in my in my opinion because he still gave us a decade and a half of great music. I don't think he's literally. People are like, oh my god, he fucking I, isn't going to, can, career suicide. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I'm gonna tell you what can revive him. <laughs> if he and y'all tell me if I'm wrong. No, no, he doesn't have to discender. He can shut the fuck up for the rest of his career, and nobody's gonna give a fuck. Literally, he he. Put I think he should continue position. making music. He shouldn't. But instead, but no more braggadocious. I'm the goat rap. He should make elevated music. No, See, oh, <laughs> not too, not too much now. Not too much now. Not too much. Yo. He should, be, he should be the first rapper to make elevator rap. No, Yo. no. You know how they got elevator we're not about jazz to do that. All right, now we're getting, getting carried away here. <laughs> like he needs to put Let's balls back over niggas that's waiting for Stop. the customer he's service still, line. He's still a great rapper, and you know that. Come on. You know when you call Best Buy and you need help with like tech support, <laughs> and you press zero Geek to squad. get to like he needs to make raps for the niggas. Like, Geek hey, squad please raps. press this option for hip hop. I'm not and, entertaining and J. this. J Cole, like I'm that's the type of rap this nigga needs to make because no. at this point, like nigga, what are we talking yeah. about? When did you? Yeah. yeah, let me ask you another question, right? Mm -hmm. Mainly for. Uh, Save Honor and uh, Alex. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever did something, thought you was right in, at, in the moment, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you had a change of heart, right? Mm -hmm. Is it okay for you to have a change of heart over the wrong that you felt you committed? There is, it is okay to have a change of heart, right? Pierre, what I'm looking at is what looks to be Stockholm Syndrome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, my dog is identifying with the dude that shot at him because he shot at him first. So my question to Cole is, well, what did you think was gonna happen? Wait, wait, okay. Can I say something? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I get Pierre's point of like, okay, um, like I regret this, like I wanna right my wrong. But also, what kills me though is like, what Cole said was not even that bad. Like, he acted like he ethered him. Like, he, he acted like, act like, like it was personal. No, thank you, Reggie. Like, thank it's you. Fine. Thank like, you, I know you felt you. bad about thank saying you. that to Pimp a Butterfly was why, and I know you didn't mean it and you wanna write that wrong. I get it, but it's like, you didn't disrespect his wife or his Thank kids. You. Like, so why but do you feel the need to true. do this like whole ass speech? Full, like full, full circle. Remember what I said earlier about how it's more tolerable to hear uh, the criticism around to pimp a butterfly around people who just mm -hmm. don't like that type of rap. And they I, love shitting on it. Right. Yeah. I think he had a, a real life moment to himself. Like he's like, shit, I'm not about to do that. Yeah. Even, yeah, okay. even him apologizing on stage, I think was stemmed in his, his remarks about to pimp a butterfly. Like what, the guilt. What yes. he really needs. Yes. And what he really, really thoroughly, in my opinion, I think he needs for Kendrick Lamar, for whatever's going to come, he needs Kendrick to diss him. Because he needs redemption. For what? No, he needs redemption. No, is he no more redemption? No, no, listen, listen. Cole li needs just, redemption? Yes. J. Cole needs... If J. Cole oh and Kendrick Lamar are really, really friends, he needs Kendrick Lamar to say, fuck your apology. He needs him to diss him. And then this will open the floor for J. Cole to say, you know what? Just see red. I apologize. It's not true. You didn't take it. That's I'm not gonna true. come back and I'm just gonna kill you. But That's not what true. Can he I'm gonna say try now? to kill you. What That's can not he true. say to Kendrick, honestly? Nothing. You, you and know, I hate wait, before mm -hmm. you even say that, mm -hmm. when people talk about like what they can say to each other, there's a lot of speculation. These are the only three people who could actually relate to each other. 
These are the only three. No, no. Listen, they, they in relate rare with air. one. They relate with one thing. I'm talking about from Dude. life, and you gotta understand. Like, mm-hmm. you don't think Drake knows all of Kendrick's bullshit and vice versa. You don't think like these three guys. They know the shit that we aren't privy to mm-hmm. because we're not supposed to be privy to, 100%. right? Like, they're peers, literally. They're yeah. peers. So. When people ask what can he say about him, I'm sure there's some stories back in the day or, or when them coming up where Kendrick might have had a misstep mm-hmm. or Drake may have had some shit. Like, that's the thing. Like, they know each other I'm in an intimate to bring that way. Shit up. They know each other in a different way than we know them. Right. So I think everything's on the table. But if Kendrick Lamar is actually a friend of J. Cole, he will diss him again. And give him an opportunity to redeem himself. I'm going to tell you why that's not going to happen. He literally said on the stage, and I'm going to keep playing it in a second, you could take your best shot. I ain't going to do nothing. I ain't going to do nothing. Okay, that was crazy. So, like, Reggie, I fell for you. I nah. wept. Oh, my God. I that's, wept tears. Not for me because I was love. fine. That's love. That's I told games. you. That's love. That's, what is, I hate what you, when people feel you, sorry for me when I'm not even sad. No. Like, guys, <laughs> stop. I, was, I felt bad sorry. I'm fine. The like, other people, I'm sorry because yes. Reggie is fine here yes, today. Cause yes, because like, like you said, yes. like Jordan, like, yeah. I don't know if he's going through hell sorry, right now. Sorry, Jordan. He tweeted a little something. Like, he's sad about this. Bro, it's fine. We still love Cole. Like, it's everything is fine. Like, stop. Can I ask you a question? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to stay there real quick. I'm going to keep it a bug with you, Reggie. I guess that's my personal yeah, yeah. experience. I want to argue it a little bit, and I don't want you to pivot from what you're saying. He is not fine. I, th- th- if you really think about hip hop, right, and rap, like this yeah, this, a, this, this a, put a stain on his, yeah, r- right. Yeah. Just, just talk. He's a cool dude. I'm, I'm sure he's gonna continue to give to the Dreamville community, all that stuff, and he's gonna continue to make music. I'm not taking anything from that, right? It, being a high level artist and lyricist, right. And going out the way you did on that stage, it, it, people have uh, p- people are gonna have issue with it mm-hmm. because they're gonna look back at it in the future. Mm-hmm. Like this is gonna be one of those moments where it's like, damn, yeah, now nah, Cole. Oh, but he did have that one time mm-hmm. where he was on the. Dream I guess court. where I'm I, where I'm coming from and yeah. where I can't relate to all the Cole fans that are literally on their floor crying right now. Like <laughs> I just can't personally. I get what you're. I totally yeah. agree with how like. Now, that's why it sucks. Like, when people think about J. Cole, this will always be one of the first things that they think about. So, that is definitely true. I'm not caping for that. But for me, personally, I'm not upset because if I tell people I'm a Cole fan, yeah. like, I don't care what you think. Like, I still I still love J. Cole. Like, but he's an amazing you're, rapper. You're like, like one of one, Reggie. That's why I'm like, saying my most personal... People, most people don't have the Teflon, the skin, like, to deal with somebody talking. Like, when people was talking about, like, Neo's hairline, it hurt me. <laughs> you like, felt me, that? my no. man. Guys, like, so if you're I, like, yeah. I inherit my favorite. You're like, sick. if you mm-hmm. want to talk about Jim Carrey being a weirdo nut, like that's gonna hurt me. Gotcha. Like the people that I fuck with, I inherit their beef. That's not you, no Diddy pause. I don't inherit that beef. But like, if a nigga really says some shit that hurt, like somebody that I mm-hmm. fuck with, yeah, it's gonna hurt me. Like, like, cause if someone right now tries to be like, oh my god, you're a J Cole fan? What? Like, y'all are crazy right now. You guys should be embarrassed. I'm like, can you leave me alone? Like, <laughs> yeah, like Jesus, I music. like, can you come? You know what it is? I'm about to be sexist. Fuck it. You don't got a dick. Explain that. Explain that. Explain. Break that with the ego. It's the the ego, my nigga. Like Uh, that's my means. I'm not ego. You gotta understand. Wait, real quick. There's three sides of this triangle. (laughs) There's Kendrick. (laughs) There's Drake. There's J Cole. (laughs) When you got a dick. You want to make sure you ride for one of them niggas. Don't no say dick after that. That's crazy. And ride. Yeah, what the fuck? Well, you saying nah, ride and dick after that? that. Yo, my fault. What the fuck? Let me take nah, over. My fault, <laughs> I should have said uh, But yeah. you know what I'm saying, I, I, bro? I, I like, yeah. like, you got to make sure you're going hard for your man. So Not hard. I that. <laughs> <laughs> this is going off the rails. Nah, you know what I'm saying, though? Like, you got to stand tall for your nigga. Like, stop doing this. Yeah, you over here gripping shit in Chicago. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, you got to. You gotta rep your side. That's better. I get that. Yeah. So if I'm Drake, if I'm Kendrick, if I'm J. Cole, whatever side I stand on as a, as, as a guy who or a person with ego. I don't want to make it a sexist thing. But yeah. when I say you gotta have a dick which you don't have, I mean ego. You gotta have a little ego. You have zero ego, Reggie. And I, I, I really like, do not I care. Know, I know, but yes, I gotta talk I for the care. niggas. I gotta talk for the people who really got an ego in this rap shit. Because <laughs> when you got a horse in a race, you wanna see your guy. You be take a it personal, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they're actually in the race, that's the thing. I can understand that. Yeah. This mm-hmm. is a race. And J. Cole disqualified <laughs> himself. He's like, guys, this is a race. This is a race, bro. There's a finish line. <laughs> the, the careers are not done. Like, 
There was a three man race, yeah. and yeah. you had the nerve to cosplay. Mm -hmm. You yeah. had the nerve to put on a costume and say, I am the best. Mm -hmm. How ironic is it that J. Cole was the one that power tripped? Bro, oh. his music, like, and this is why I'm oh. saying, you need, you need, like, he needs, he needs to call Kendrick Lamar and he says, Mr. Kenny. Oh, D. Please, not Mr. Diss Kenny. Me. Just diss me, Kung Fu. Nah, not, just, not, yo, just diss me, bro. Nah, because nah. because <laughs> nah. I, need, I need to redeem myself. No, I, no, no he no. needs a chance to at least say, oh. you know what? You diss me again. Now I have to at least come back at you. Because if not, bro, he's done. There is mm -hmm. no big three. We have been champion. There has been so many graphics. There have been so many moments. There has been everything around the last ten to twelve years of hip hop mm -hmm. for our generation, the blog era. In my opinion, sorry, Dad, this is the greatest era of hip hop to me I to me it. blog ever right we got oh, a whole bunch of artists yeah. like it's, it's been amazing mm -hmm. and he was a staple in that and he just removed everything we not, ever not saw. everything <laughs> not everything that. so dramatic not everything that's a whole move don't be a hoe you can't be big three Jesus oh. Christ okay wait I, one thing that made me laugh was you know the part where J. Cole was like oh yo I need to take on the chin Kendrick whatever you gotta do Whatever. So I, saw, I, saw a I was like, yo, that's fucking crazy. Don't say that. But And then I saw a tweet. It was like, Cole basically said, I'm sorry, but if you feel the need to hit me, you can rock my shit, though. That's, <laughs> that's basically what he said. Like, he's like, yo, you can hit me. Yo, I'm like, stop. That's basically what he said. No, but like, I feel like, can we stop? Like, No, he so gave us blue balls. Uh, Wait, Reggie. My, my, I was ready. Wait, also, oh to, 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 I'm replying to your rant. Like, you know how we were, it, it was the three of them. They were in a race. People, my point, me personally, I'm not uh, representing anyone. If people are like, yo, J. Cole's third in that race, J. Cole's last in that race, that doesn't really bother me because I don't give a fuck. He's I not was, like, I in was the about, race. I just, I just love his I was music. about to ask you that, Reggie. Yeah, it, do you still consider J. Cole to be in the big three? I, I do. I think people are being and, extremely dramatic no, when they and, say the big and, three is cooked. Like, stop. That leads us to our, our next segment. <laughs> but I just said that this was a crazy, stupid, bad move on J. Cole's but part. Like, I'm we, not caving right now. we move on to the next segment. No, no, we staying here. We're in the same ballpark. Fellas, fellas, fellas. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk to the fellas right now because I don't know the equivalent for the ladies. But I know, fellas, we all have done this. We all have been texting a lady. We've all been courting a lady. We've all said, hey, when we link up, I'm going to lay it down. <laughs> We've all said Just that. gassing the text up We've crazy. We've all been like, yo, when I get you, shorty. You start naming positions you never did. You be like, you turn in a, what's, what's these niggas' name? I don't know, male porn Who? stars. Male porn stars? Me just I don't watch sex. You don't? I told you this. Semen retention. <laughs> Lexington Steel, I think. That's what the I fuck think. is you going? What the fuck is in your album? Why Y'all don't know this sexual. No, oh, no, 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 boy. no, no, no. Not from Tom. <laughs> from back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From I, I, I I yeah, yeah. But it, all I'm saying is, <laughs> J. Cole gave us blue balls. You know how, like, Reggie, I don't yeah, know if you've like, ever uh, been disappointed. Mind, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, when, you, when you tell a girl, I'm going to rock your world, baby. <laughs> this thing is great. I'm going to make mm -hmm. you come over <laughs> and over. And oh, that's what he's been telling us for mm -hmm. three years. I'm the best. If a nigga wants smoke, I'm gonna give it to him. And we were very, through, very, I'm very, very excited about this back and forth. If a nigga want beef, I'm gonna give it to him. He has been doing nothing but tickling the clit. He has <laughs> never put it in. This analogy is just foreplay, just mad foreplay. Just but, but so it is, much. It like, is a. It bro, is a. It is you a just gun. need to fuck. I do think just fuck some. Same on. I do think that's great. a good analogy because he was, you know, teasing us. He did drop a diss track, which was not even that like salacious. Yeah. And then he was like, "Never mind, sorry." We got like, blue balls, bro. Like he was like, "My bad." Nah, this is the like, first man, crazy. bro. Like, this got to be the that's... first man to ever give other man blue balls. <laughs> that oh he's not the God. first. Todd the creator, Gerard. Uh, Yo, the pause after the, the silence after that was. <laughs> <all right. laughs> okay, I just, I just, okay. I just want. Okay, I just want. I just need to like. Okay, I just want to know if there are any there's anybody that can relate to me where like. I this wait whoa, whoa, whoa what happened? I'm just everything. laughing at me. Keep oh, going. Okay. Yeah, keep that was going. Good. That was where good. I just feel very misunderstood. Like same. Everything mm. is. I I'm fully agreeing with everybody making fun of Cole. This was crazy. This was a very bad moment in hip hop for him, and I'm very disappointed because he's a hip hop fan. So he knows how hip hop beefs work. He knows Facts. we just wanted the lyrical sparring. Yeah. So he should have known that. Like, why are you apologizing? So I acknowledge that, but also I still love him, and I feel like he's. A phenomenal rapper 
and I'm still a J. Cole fan. I just want somebody to comment that understands where I'm coming from. Like, I'm, I'm not caping, but I'm also very disappointed I'm in I'm right here, Reg. I got you. Yo, what's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? Before we get back into the episode, I want to make sure we give a special shout out to the good folks over at Underdog Fantasy. Yes, we love our <laughs> friends at Underdog Fantasy because they have a special little promo for you guys. They will give you a deposit matchup of up to $100, but you have to use our code Need to Know. So you could put in $5, they'll match up $5. You could put $100, they'll match up $100 only if you use our promo code Need to Know. Exactly. So press pause right now, download the Underdog Fantasy app. App and use promo code need to know for a deposit match of up to a hundred dollars come on y'all let's get it and uh that's all you have it folks here's our next segment welcome all welcome all this is alexander from need to know sports today is our first annual that was good big three tournament many will come some may fail from high from east from the west from the east coast ASAP Rocky from the South. From the South. Big Crit. And many more. Many more. Now, <laughs> everybody trickling, and the draft is going to occur as we speak. All right, let's do it. We are okay. clipping this. Facts. <laughs> now, Reggie, Pierre, I'll let y'all get all that shit off. <laughs> I am so sorry. Call out the three. Reggie yeah, don't yeah, care. Yeah, Reggie don't care. Yeah, yeah, I know. Reggie don't care. She cool. <laughs> He's like, I know, bitch. Yeah, I know. She's like, whatever. <laughs> I'm still going to bump Cole. I'm still going to bump Cole. He's like, like we get it, Regina. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. He is out of there. For very, I'm going to tell, tell you why. Is he though? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you what disqualified him. The lack of competition. So, okay, there is still time, true. folks. There is still time for the in-season playing. <laughs> All right? In the tournament, there are some number one seeds. Okay. I got a draft pick. Who's your, who's your, who's Wait, you, I guess you make sense I because... I got a number one draft. I wait, got my pick. When it was time for him to really play, he he couldn't. He folded, there you go. Like, okay, there you go. Oh, and, and, he gave and, you blue balls. And at Reggie, this point... You don't got balls, so you don't know what it feels like you. for somebody he to tease you like He keeps telling me this. I don't have a dick. I know. Because <laughs> yeah. you, like, you don't understand yeah. nah, what that's blue, like blue for somebody not... to get you to this point yeah. of... I'm almost. I'm gonna nut on myself. <laughs> like you don't even gotta touch me. Yeah. Okay, hold on. But then you just say, "Hey, I gotta go to work." What the fuck? But what if? Okay, in that analogy of sports, like, what if there's like a phenomenal basketball player, but he never won a ring? Are you still like, yo, you you ain't shit? Like, you cannot uh, do. I'm, you cannot be a part of any conversation now. That's what you guys Rudy are doing. Gay? That's what you guys are doing. You know Rudy Gay? Uh, isn't that the guy? It's Rudy Gay. No, for real, that's the name. That guy yeah. Nah, no, Gobert got Gobert. Gobert. Oh, the one that you're thinking the, of Gobert. Gobert. You're talking about Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay. But on my basketball, Rudy Gay, so it's funny. Me and my brothers, we've always said for years. Yeah. Why isn't Rudy Gay better? Like on 2K. <laughs> That's he was a crazy a question. No, listen, bro, <laughs> because he had the skill set. Mm -hmm. He had the team. He had the opportunity. High, he had the height. He had the athleticism. He could shoot. Like, he was really somebody. On 2K, you're like, wait, this nigga can give me 30 every night because he had all of the tools, but it never translated. But then we would see it in spurts. Mm -hmm. Like some nights he would have 30, 35, 40, and then some games they'll have like eight, seven. <laughs> it never made sense to me and my siblings. I don't know how everybody else view Rudy Gay. Like I know you and your boys, y'all play 2K. Right. I don't know if y'all looked at Rudy Gay like, yo, that nigga could have been something. For sure. But I always sure. had that He's thought. Athletic. Yeah. And then recently... Tony Allen, who is NBA champion, all uh, defensive, all player. defensive player, one of the NBA legends when it comes to this defensive shit. For sure. Like Tony Allen said, "Yo, I was a teammate of Rudy Gay, mm -hmm. and I had to question Rudy Gay's like hunger." He was like, "When we were teammates, Rudy Gay had a matchup against Kevin Durant when he was on OKC, and he decided to sit out the game because he didn't want to play KD." Mm. Damn. All the tools, mm -hmm. all the skill, but didn't want to face that 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 man. That man type shit. So mm -hmm. this is giving yeah. me Rudy Gay of the hip. Like, yeah. you disqualify yourself from ever being one of them right. ones when right. you do shit like this. And I wish you would have called the OG. And that's why um, you wish you would have called the OG. That's why I'm okay with anyone that's competing, right? Which leads me back to our- But he has been competing for the last decade, though. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. no. Are we just defining him no, 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 on no. this one moment? Yes. Yes. Right. I think that's not fair because it's, it's like- It's so fair, It doesn't- right? doesn't Allen Iverson doesn't have a ring, right? No, but this is the difference. Okay, but it's like but he fought hard. But he, he literally competed. Like, no, Cole he did hard. fight. Cole no, 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 did no, no, no. Fight. I'm, Okay, this is what, what I'm, I'm like. No, hear me out. Hear me out. This is where we're getting confused at. Reggie, the competition starts now. 
You saying that you better than so-and-so while no one is sparring with you are just words. Hmm. Getting into the ring and actually getting a response back from the words you put out into the world is where the competition starts. That's where the playoffs start. Yep. I think this is like <laughs> this was like the championship game, and he he lost he dead ass lost. Like flat out, J. Cole, you lost. But like his whole career, he has been rapping at an extremely high level, and we're just like literally just throwing that all away because he performed badly on this one game. Yes, he did. Call Tiger. No. Um call Big No, hmm? guys. Call Big I feel like that is so call Big Shaw, like Call Wale. Um, Meek Mill. Number one, yep. Number one first season of the tournament, Nicki Minaj, Future. That's it. Stop right there. That's it? That's, that's all the number one season we got in the tourney? Those Big are the number Sean. one <laughs> No, no, he in the plane. I love Big Sean. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. Sean in the plane. Yeah, nah. At this rate, I want people that's going to compete. I'm, I'm not even laughing with y'all. Real shit. Like, it's a big two right now. We're going to get to a big three eventually. There'll never be another third. Maybe they'll, 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 you can't I don't know. include another like we got to. I don't know because they would have been mentioned is. already. As you in can't the, like yeah. who who was hmm? the quote unquote four future. They always or, say Wale. Nikki. They yeah. always say Call Wale. Travis. Wale. Hmm? No, if Wale was always the fourth. Like they, they always like oh my god, we get the big three, but why don't we mention Wale? People always put his name in there. I, and I'm not mad at him being, but again, I think even Wale, he's a victim of the industry. I don't think Wale didn't compete. I think Wale just didn't get the same support. I think Wale just didn't get the same looks. And I think after a while, it took a toll on him mentally. Where he's like, you know what, man? I'm just going to find my lane and I'm going to do me. Let me yeah. Which is why Wale has been quiet. I know we're going to talk about Wale and Meek Mill a little no, bit no, no, later. No. Yeah. But as far as like that big three, like it takes a perfect storm to be put into that type, to be marketed in that type of way, right? Like you just name a ton of artists who are super talented, mm -hmm. who came up at that time. Like... If we want to take commercial success, we could plug in a Wiz Khalifa. I was just, just we could about plug to say in it. a big Sean, like commercial success, mm -hmm. skill, um, talent, appeal, marketing. There's a lot of people who could be in that same realm, but for whatever reason, the marketing, the fans, the music, it's been these three it was for a reason, them, yeah. like right, like. That's okay, so do we do, we, do uh, yeah. we agree, Savon, or no? Because I'm saying, like, we always put them as the big three. Like, let's not forget what happened this entire past decade. I get it when it was time to show up mm -hmm. and win this ring. He he lost. Like, J. Cole literally lost. It was sad. It was embarrassing. But are we literally throwing away why we put him in the big three in the first you, place? You want to like, know yes. why it was a big three? In my opinion. Mm -hmm. And you tell me if I'm wrong. It was a big three because... If you ask the room of 25 people, all of those people are going to have a different answer on who is number one. There was no unanimous decision on Drake, Kendrick, or J. Cole. That's why there's no more big three. Because if you ask 25 people after today, who is the best? J. Cole is <laughs> okay. like... Okay, while we're doing this hypothetical survey, let me know because I'm going to call Nyla and Jordan and make sure they vote for Cole. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like... I'm kidding, I'm The kidding, stands kidding. and the people who have poured so much into J. Cole, mm -hmm. they're going to rock with him until the end of time. That's his only saving grace right now that he has such a loyal fan yeah, base that sure. he built for so long. But what if he I'm didn't saying, have that... But, but can we all not like see that? Like In a survey of a thousand mm -hmm. people, out of that a thousand... You're gonna get a really, really nice mix of people who say, "Yo, J Cole's number one. J Cole's number one." Because whatever the preference is, yeah, not now. He disqualified himself from that, and there's no inserting a Wale or a, a Big Sean into that because they haven't been there. Well, I mean, if we're doing a playing tournament, right? Like the Lakers went to the Western Conference Finals with the playing, right? If you're not yeah. familiar with the playing tournament, is the opportunity for people who we don't expect to go far, right? So to your Wale point, the point you guys were making, what I was trying to get at is. The reason why I put Big Sean, Wale, Meek in a play-in situation is because of the the time off they had for music. Meek is right? done. I mean, I mean, shit. Nah, I, I mean, done. Yeah, lie. I mean, Meek, shit. Meek, <laughs> Meek might be done. I mean, I, I and, uh, from I, music. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I understand that. I understand that. Him but, and Diddy was too close. <laughs> Matching all the niggas matching that outfit, with Diddy matching jerseys done. and shit. Yeah, <laughs> like but, niggas got to yeah. look at Biggie a little bit different. I, I'm, I'm looking at this entire because it did. I'm looking at the entire tournament to me. That's how that's how I look at it in my All brain. Right. Real shit. Like to me, it's more like, and I want this to be very interactive too. Let us know who your number one seeds would be in this. Yeah, I can't wait. To right. Hear that. Let us know 
who would be the playing participants, right? And again, if you're not familiar, playing participants is just players who we might not put on the list, right? At this point, nigga, let's see Ja Rule. I love it. No. <laughs> No. Name another nigga. I, I said Tiger before, right? Ja Rule Who else? is a tougher match than J. Cole. Throw Kanye in the ring. Who else? Future. Future already number one seed. Who else we got? Name some more niggas. Nah, I nah. cannot imagine anybody <laughs> in the big three. Young Thug. Like, Don't Thug in it's, it. it's over for the three. That The, the three is really narrative so sad. is done. It's this over. Sad. It sucks because we lived through this era. It's literally us. Like Literally our yeah. age group. We are the exact demographic for... Appreciating the big three, there and now no it's just—it really is the end of an era. I can acknowledge. Yeah, there's, there's two, and there's two. Yeah, and that kind of leads me to where I want to go because I feel like Drake is on the clock at the time of this recording. Um, the second project of Future Metro it hasn't come out. We don't know what's on there. I did oh see gosh. the weekend repost the album, the artwork. Oh um, fuck! So I don't know what he's <laughs> gonna say. Like I don't know his involvement. <laughs> like there's a lot to be seen in this. Which is why J. Cole bowing out so early is like disappointing. Yeah. Because he didn't he didn't have to. But and I also want to give him his credit. He could have just called Kendrick. Like he could have just called him. That's all he had. And to been do. like, sorry, bro. If that's really your man, you could have said he everything like, he said. Yo, he could have called and been like, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Bye. And like everything will be fine. He <laughs> Kendrick, Kendrick knows his heart. <laughs> and then he would have had an amazing set at Dream of Festival and we would have been happily ever after. And I would not be on this couch <laughs> like this right now. I think what it is, is, and if we really look deep into it, I think J. Cole just wanted to be accepted. That's what it feels like. It feels like he just wanted to be accepted by either Drake or Kendrick. Yeah, those two specifically, who, though. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, those I two want, specifically. Because again, like J. Cole has told us throughout his music, I am a fan of this sport. I'm a fan before I'm anything, before I'm a rapper, before I'm a biracial kid from North Carolina, before I am anything, I'm a fan. And I think his fandom preceded his competitive rapperhood. Like me, mm -hmm. like I think he just said, oh wait, Drake Kendrick, mm -hmm. these are the guys as a fan. Yeah. Like he understands, yes, they're my peers. But I don't ever think he was respected as because if we really think about it from a commercial standpoint, like Kendrick has gotten looks from Dr. Dre, Beats, um, J. Cole, and I will Super say Bowl. this, Super Bowl, like J. Cole, <clears throat> once his relationship with Jay-Z seemed to like evaporate for whatever reason, he didn't have that stamp. Drake has always had the stamp from Lil Wayne and Kendrick has always had the stamp from the entire West Coast. like. Anybody from the West will tell you, I love Kendrick, I support Kendrick, I'm there for Kendrick, whether it be Dr. Dre, whether it be Game, mm -hmm. whether it be anybody from the or West Eden. Coast, <laughs> and Eden, who's from the East Coast, shout out to Eden. He always had that support. I think at some point, J. Cole seemed to have lost that support from a major pillar. Right. And when I say a pillar, again, I mean all of the West Coast and I mean Lil Wayne. Like, Lil Wayne is literally on tour with Drake as we speak. They they just yeah, wrapped up a tour. they're still locked in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they're still locked in. Yeah. Dr. Dre and Eminem and Fifty Cent and all of these guys from Aftermath or Interscope, whatever, like Interscope, they all call Kendrick for the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. right? Like J Cole hasn't had that in a very did long time. Did he and Jay Z fall out? Like, are they not? Good? I don't know if they fell out. Because nobody I don't think knows. So. Yeah, nobody really knows. Nobody how, knows if they got, fell out. How he left yeah, but, Rock Nation. There's not been public support. Nah, yeah. Uh, I'm like talking, super vocal support. This, yeah. There hasn't been any when's public last, support. When's the last person Jay Z publicly supported? Uh, Rihanna. Beyonce. Jake. Rihanna. He got to support Beyonce. Though. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's by default. That's, that's by support your queens. Yeah, yeah, but probably like yeah, probably. Rihanna. But that's what I'm saying when it comes to J Cole. So when you're standing on your own, which I think he's been standing on his own for a very, very, very long time. You have to not just latch on to something, but you want to feel validated. And so if Hove, and again, we don't know what happened between him and Hove, right. but it's been extremely quiet. Yeah. Can we all agree to that? For sure. There's, there hasn't For been sure. a lot of it's, it's, it's been yeah. extremely quiet. Well, because in the quiet. beginning, they were like literally so in. public. Yeah, yeah. yeah, They were really, really, really locked in. Yeah, Mr. So nice Watch. So for him, again, this is all public facing. For him to not have that support, 
and to have his two peers mm -hmm. seem to have that support, I could see him wanting to be like, oh shit, I have to find my way. And these are the two guys who I want their approval. And I want people to see me as their peers. But maybe he stopped feeling like that when Hove pulled the support or when his relationship with Jay-Z evaporated. I don't know. I don't know. No, that this is, yeah, that's definitely been the saddest revelation for me uh, since he went on that stage and said that. Because you could tell, like, the fans, I'm, I know he's appreciative of his fans, right? Mm -hmm. I know he's appreciative of his success. But what he really, really stood on was his appreciation for the friendship he has between the two of them. Mm. And I was just like, really? Like, granted, he's a nice guy and he's not the type of dude that's probably going to hide his emotion, right? Or hide how, he, hide how he's feeling. And I respect that, no doubt. But I was definitely surprised to know that his driving factors <laughs> have been Drake mm -hmm. and Go. If anything, when you try and be the best, I just thought world domination is what you, what you chase, what you strive towards, right? And then he kind of ended. Do you, should we end the rest of his clip yeah. on stage? Let's do it. There was a part on here where he speaks about God and everything, and I kind of relate to what he's saying a little bit, right? But I don't like how we sometimes weaponize God <laughs> when- I think it's, he's only weaponizing if he yeah. doesn't mean it. I think he means it. I think he, I definitely think he means it too. You're right, Reggie. But it's just like to hear in this moment is like, here we go. My peers, these two niggas that I've just been See? blessed to even stand beside in this blessed. game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? They great. So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly, but at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and in and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking <clears throat> uh, catalog. Trying to find an angle. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touched a fuck? He, he made the crowd chant Kendrick. Yeah, I don't know why. I think that's it. That's it. I want to salute to Styles P. Styles P is one of my favorite rappers. Yeah. Styles P is one of the best ever to, salute like, to, to ever do it. I love his perspective because, and this is the beautiful thing about like hip hop and rap and just this genre of music, yeah. is we get to see like the evolution and the growth of people in real time. Mm -hmm. I think hip hop and rappers are like the most vulnerable. And I think Styles P is one of those people who embodies that. So when Styles get on his Instagram and he says, look, the MC in me wants him to kill Kendrick. But the man who did a little bit of, you know, therapy, who, who's done a lot of reflecting, who understands where I am in life, appreciates him living his truth. It allows me as a fan to like compartmentalize. And I think maybe that's the one thing we're missing in the culture is compartmentalization, right? Like being able to say, yo, if something is fucking with his spirit, Let's appreciate that for him, but then at the same breath, being like, I wish he could be competitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel like that's pretty much like where I stand. I said like, mm -hmm. I I respect him really just trying to make things right within himself and feeling the need to like say his truth and mm -hmm. really respect himself and be like, yo, spiritually guys, I feel terrible. I don't want to do this. I'm out. That I respect that, but then also being like, yo, this is terrible for hip-hop like this is terrible what you just did so he, two things you know what i'll say about this and then we can kind of move on wherever you want to go it challenges us as a culture it really does we've never seen anything like this like i know a lot of people yeah. talk about the jay-z apology the nods and this and that like all of these quote-unquote apologies are very 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 different mm -hmm. one any apology in hip hop has always been based on a personal note, right? I don't, I can't recall, and maybe I'm not the hip hop historian. Most, right? pe most people apologized after all the vitriol. Was after there. there was some personal, Jay Z, you know, things that took you out of your mm -hmm. character. Well, they and actually maybe, went at it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it, yeah. it's just been a little bit more personal. Yeah. With this, this was strictly art. 
Mm-hmm. This was strictly skill set, right? And like the, the, when he said, "Wasn't even that bad." Like, oh my god, that's what kills me. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't like, bro. So <sighs> that that that's where I think J Cole. And again, we don't know how this is going to age. We don't know what this conversation mm-hmm. is like going to sound like. In <laughs> the nigga, we don't know that. The nigga age like oak milk. It could age like wine. <laughs> We don't know. Like, <laughs> and they go, I, don't, I don't like. That's the crazy thing about the we, nigga age like monster. <laughs> I hope it don't. I really do. I really hope there's some type of redemption arc for J Cole. Oh, but man. when we have this conversation I, in this present moment, mm-hmm. right there, we've never seen anything like this. So what I will say and what I will give J Cole credit for, he is challenging the audience. He's challenging fans. He's challenging people to uh, like decide, do we want progression? Because every single day, whenever somebody gets killed by the cops, whenever there's a, a wrongful black person that's dying or, or whatever the case may be, we sit here and we chant and we, we, we don't want violence. We want community. We want support. Uh, we want understanding. We want empathy. We want all the things that J. Cole is pretty much asking of us when we are faced with these challenges as a community. And so for me, it's been challenging to understand how to truly feel about it because we can't say we want one thing, but then when we actually get it, when J. Cole actually shows a display of compassion, empathy, and self-awareness, we crucify him, but then in the same breath, it's like, oh no, we want blood, like you said. Mm. I, I don't think I'm crucifying J. Cole. And if, I, if y'all are taking that, not you guys, but the people listening, if you guys are taking that away from what I'm saying, let me be very clear. I just consider him to be an Andre 3000 now. Like, that is not that bad. It's, it's not. <laughs> it, just someone who has completely taken away the competitive spirit. And it's just chilling. And, like, and I'm just chilling. Yeah. I'm making music. Whenever I put out music, I put it out. <laughs> You know, I, I, it's so difficult for me to even combine it. That's why I was joking today about about there being a tournament, right, for the next third person. Because competitively, you've taken yourself out. When you went up on that stage and you say, yo, this is not me. This is literally what he says. It's not me. This is not feeding my soul. I've been trying to get right with God. Even though for the last two, three years, you've been sending switches. You've been telling you would spin on niggas. God wasn't around for the last two, three years until now. That brings me to my Kanye point for another day. Where is God, Kanye? So convenient. So yeah. convenient how we use God. Like, and I love him. That's OG he was just in church. But, you know, to see yourself to see you completely remove yourself out of the race, bro. Salute, man. It's kudos to I you. I feel like that's okay. It's but sad. now, but now he can't be talking about all this is, goat shit now. Exactly. It's is, sad. It, is this is like, this good for morning? Is this is this good for hip hop coming off the the heels of uh Hip hop finally making money again and then mm-hmm. getting back to a rele- and relevant, yeah, going and, back to a relevant place. Like and how, everyone was like, "Hip hop is back." Right? Did this help or help hurt it? It help. It helps because we still. Gotta, I think it hurt it. No, it, it it doesn't hurt it to me because now we get what we really want to see. Nah, which is Drake okay. versus Kendrick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nah. Like, I, I thought you were about to okay. say it, else, it yeah. doesn't. It doesn't hurt it okay. because Yo, I can, may, I cannot maybe wait. it hurts <laughs> it that weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. now we he it has set the continue. stage. Yeah. It'll continue. Yeah. For oh wait, I'm about to get Thanos right versus Iron Man. The real because we, we know because yeah, like, we know we're gonna get it out of them. Right. It's like Got it's you, like right. Trump. It's like when people say I like my racism twofold. Right. I want my racism to be so overt that I don't gotta question it. Right. I don't have to question J Cole no more. Like you showed me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't have to look at him in this race. He showed me, yeah, like, yeah. it's like the overt racist in Alabama. <laughs> this nigga hates niggas. <laughs> so I don't have to question yeah. it when I drive through Alabama, right? Yeah. Like, it's not the fake, the Long Island racism. Oh. Alex, you live in Long Island. I live in Chill. Long Island. A lot of our listeners, y'all have been in the suburbs right. where there are white people who are familiar with black people. Mm-hmm. And they live, you know, in proximity. That they're, they're close to us. Yeah. But when they go home, man, they can't wait to kill a nigga. Can't wait. <laughs> they can't wait to throw on the hood. There was a nigga in the bagel shop today. We oh like they fucking hate us. Not the bagels. We don't know. We just want to eat a bagel, right? Like <laughs> yeah. that's what J. Cole was before he made this announcement. Yeah. Now he put himself in Alabama, nigga. I know you racist, and I know exactly where you stand. It's so okay. if I decide to be around you, yeah. 
I hate myself. Uh, yeah, right. I'm 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 completely. This okay. is what it is. Yeah, this is what it just is. Just put out I, your music. And yeah, I think too. Like what Saban was cool. saying, um, we can't ask for like, oh, we can't want blood and all this, and then also ask for compassion when shit gets bad. That what I have to say to that is like, the thing is though, no, like we were not asking for this to get insane and crazy and violent all that i don't think anyone was asking for that that i'm not that i'm not saying that's what you said Savon. i feel mm-hmm. like people are like no we should you know we should love j cole for taking the more compassionate approach like bro no one asked for them to like th- this to end in like a shootout we just wanted like a really 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 good back and forth yeah and now yeah, we're, we're robbed of that and, and and that's for, why people are upset how did he yeah. like how did he go one-on-one with diddy <laughs> Who? what you mean bro <laughs> A nigga six five. No, no, like <laughs> nigga six five. If he couldn't mean? do like like <laughs> yeah, yeah. like word fucking sparring, yeah, yeah. How did he face Diddy? Cole six five, bro. But Diddy's like the final boss. <laughs> what? I put it like this: If you was walking in the dark alley, <laughs> yeah. and you had to see Diddy at the end of J Cole, <laughs> who would you rather see? The booty, not the booty warrior. Wait, you said what? <laughs> That's the first. Thing. The nigga that's Wait. taking booty. <laughs> That's the nigga. I, yeah, I don't want him nowhere to be found. But that's what I'm saying. We <laughs> never would, bro. Two weeks ago, we would have been like, nah, bro. But you gotta understand, at six five, you got some wingspan, so a nigga don't grab your booty. You can get away from a nigga quick. But think about that, Diddy <laughs> versus J Cole, like, <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> can we can we get uh, off of calls? Is there anything else? Yeah, we I was like, say damn, we talked about this shit for an hour. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say I'm cool. About Sorry, guys. I think we cool. But it's a I'm historic cool. moment. But we gotta go back into our playing tournament and speak to our contestants, Meek Mill Wale. Okay, transition. Yeah, Fan. man. Yeah, Meek Mill Wale. Also, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah, your transition, by the way. But it's it's kind of fun being like, you know how it's you you know we're three co-hosts. Yeah. It's, so it's usually two people agree, and then they're against one. It's kind of fun being the one. For <laughs> once. I've been trying to tell it's you. It's kind of fun. That shit hard. <laughs> like arguing. Yeah. It's just me by myself on this island and really against is. you guys. Yeah, it's Not, kind of fun. It feels good agreeing with you. And bro. Pierre, I got Pierre. Yeah, actually. I remember last time I gave a single. Yeah, I fuck with you, bro. Like that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that's my man for real. Look what we agree on. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, we love y- yelling at Reggie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but sorry. Uh, Wale. No, you're and fine. Yeah, Meek Mill, Wale. You know, if you guys know anything about the two of their relationship they were both under mmg Maybach music group mm-hmm. spearheaded by rick ross i'm so confused by them right now me, yeah me too right like, is a lie. what the fuck is Everything. happening this feels like dan schneider all over <laughs> from Why? nickelodeon it's all a lie for quiet on set shit everything's a lie yeah. but you know what though this this wasn't so much of a lie maybe something we probably was expecting to happen right we know the two of them have had a tumultuous relationship mm-hmm. and the tenure of them being on the same label and after that Mm-hmm. Um, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, Meek went at Wale over this past weekend. This past weekend, for when we were recording this, WrestleMania transpired. If you guys know anything about Wale, shout out to my Nigerian brother. I, 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 but what he does is he holds a Wale Mania, which is like this big ass concert. Which is dope. Super dope, right? And it's centered around WrestleMania, mm-hmm. right? He brings up artists, etc. And it was... It was Philly's turn to host WrestleMania. Is that why he had it in Philly? I didn't put yeah. two and two together. That yeah. makes sense. WrestleMania was in Philly this year. Really? Right. And not only oh. was WrestleMania in Philly this year, Meek introed WrestleMania. He did? Yeah. Triple okay. H, Triple H, The Rock. It looks like they got Vince McMahon out of there. Did y'all anyway. fuck with wrestling, by the way? Like, did y'all fuck my with wrestling? My homie just. Nah, nah. So when I was a, when I was a kid, I fucked with wrestling OD. Yeah. Recently, my homie just and Armand, shout out to those guys, but they love it. They love yeah, it. Yeah, they yeah. love Yo, Armand. Armand had a whole freaking rebrand. Yes. Undisputed yes. champion of this And he was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he was there. Front center. I don't know just fuck with it too. Shout out oh, to Just. Oh, he goes hard. Oh, Roman yeah. Reigns, Cody, this one. I, I kind of <laughs> tapped out. I <laughs> tapped out <laughs> right before John Cena like took over. Took over. So oh, I was oh, like damn, attitude yeah, era. Gotcha. Um, all that shit, but yeah. When I when I did see everybody like celebrating and going to Philly, like I mm-hmm. felt like I was missing out. Yeah, oh. it looked like everybody was in Philly like, yeah, for real. Yeah, it looked like a really yeah. good time. It was fun. Yeah, little baby it went did. to WrestleMania with me. They brought their kids and Michael Rubin. You know Michael Rubin was it? Now you know them niggas don't go nowhere with that billionaire. <laughs> yeah. You know they don't go nowhere without that billionaire yeah. in the room. Are they? Hmm? I think I might. Hmm? That ain't no Diddy shit, chill. A little sex worker. Don't he die. Don't yeah, yeah. die. Nah, for real. Mike Rubin Eddie, might be Diddy. These Eddie. niggas might be young Mike. Nah, nah I will chill, say real chill, quick, I'm going to get chill. right back into Wale versus Meek. I ran into the... 
I, I've seen people joke on Meek Mill over the years about him bunny hopping. Yeah. I never knew what the reference was to that. Oh, really? I Have you, seen, not, you saw the video, right? I saw the video of him losing the bet to the billionaires. Mm -hmm. yep. And the billionaires is like, yeah, boy, keep going. You never saw You fucking bunny hops is trash. I never saw that, that shit. That was fucking crazy. What the fuck? He just hopping for billionaires. Anyway, so yes, uh, as you probably know, there was a ton of events centered around WrestleMania this weekend. And um, Dean. Dean is an individual who was a part of the Dream Chasers umbrella. For those of us coming up that really fucked with Meek, when we came up, we knew his inner circle being uh, Piemon, Tok, Coon Philly, uh, Dean. And uh, as of recently, Meek and Dean had a falling out. And Meek and Cruz. Yeah, Cruz. That's his engineer. That yeah. Too. I'm just talking about the... Like the no, I know. But yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to highlight the <laughs> fact the that Meek seems to be falling out with yeah. a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. I saw a clip about... That's it. Yeah, I, I did I just I wanted to highlight that. that. That's <laughs> it. Shout out to Cruz. Cruz be fucking with niggas. Yeah, so Cruz getting work. Cruz, yeah, Cruz yeah, getting yeah. work. Shout out to Cruz. But uh, yeah, Dean was a close affiliate and associate of Meek, and he was a dream chaser. Uh, as a matter of fact, he grew up with Meek, right? And he actually recently did an interview with Academics, which uh, <laughs> he kind of just got into his relationship with Meek and why the basis of their falling out. So the reason why I'm giving you all of this back uh, this backstory is because Meek saw a picture of Wale and Dean together at WrestleMania weekend in Philly. Granted, it wasn't at Wale's concert, and mm -hmm. Wale did not post the picture. Dean posted the picture. Mm -hmm. I think these are important things to highlight before we get into it. And uh, as soon as he saw that, let me read the tweet really quickly. I hope Why you pull that tweet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meek Mill is the complete opposite of J. Cole. I'm what listening. I mean by that yeah. is J. Cole has the self-awareness to mm -hmm. where he's not going to crash out. Right. Meek Mill is <laughs> crashing out e in real Yo, time. Every time I, like I was like, it cannot get worse. He posts another uh, tweet. I'm like, holy shit. You want to know why I like it? It's I comedy. like I like when people crash out because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you like, laugh at. Yeah, like to see niggas crash out. I be sitting there with the, oh my gosh, this is so interesting. This is great. I would is never. Is that what you guys like watching <laughs> academics? Yo, OD. Yeah, that, OD. Might, that might add to it. Because you guys told me like he be crashing Yo, out. Yeah, see, yeah, see, yeah. That nigga be crashing. Out. But the difference what? between the academics and the meek is like what? it's almost like meek doesn't have any self awareness. <laughs> it's like how did you make it this far in rap? I love his run on sentences on Twitter. Nah, I just be hurting my brain. <laughs> it a little makes bit. me believe. <laughs> Don't say it. Nah, nah, nah. All right, back to Wale's comments <laughs> around meek. Uh, he quotes tweets the picture and says, "Wale never liked me." Dot dot dot. Now I'ma treat him like the streets every time I see him. I gave him a thousand chances. Do you guys be thinking they linking with the enemy? Again, this is his grammar, not mine. <laughs> uh, clown ass nigga. I wish I would have knew the other day I would have stretched you. Not what you want to say when That's you're caught up in the freak offs. Wow, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a just... He can't even get the freak offs out of his head. <laughs> he just thinking about stretching shit. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, there's no self awareness. There's so many things so many you could have said besides stretching. Yeah. But yeah. what I will say about this whole Meek Mill thing, like, the thing with Meek is, it's like, who's in your camp? Mm. Who are your people? Her niggas. I, was I said this here. I said this here before. Yes, yeah, nah, her niggas. He doesn't bro. have any more friends, he's, bro. He said, "No, I don't nah, know." My fault. My fault. Not. not mm -hmm. I think the key ones aren't really there. Well, maybe the ones he started with might not be there, but he said it on his rant with Wale. He doesn't have a publicist. Yeah. I want y'all to think of a hood he nigga. Get one. He should. He should. I just want to give y'all perspective, right? Think of a hood nigga up maybe thirty to forty, fifty m's, and literally moving around on his say so. You know, the rest of these people, like, they got their team. They give them the schedule, right? Yeah, this is mm -hmm. what you're going to do today. This is going to do this. We're going to do that. Meek probably just wakes up, knows what he has to do, what he's agreed to, whatever. Mm -hmm. However, he's agreed to it and just does everything on his own. While he elects people probably from the hood to do some of these tasks and jobs. I'm going to be honest. It yeah. feels like, yeah. and I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I love Philly, honestly. Like, I go to Philly maybe once or twice a year. Philly's great. I got a lot of people I know in Philly. Um, but... The way that Meek comes off is almost like J. Cole has opened the door for me to question everything and everybody. <laughs> no, for real. Legit. Like, mm -hmm. J. Cole was cosplaying, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. J. Like, Cole, seeing him like that, you were like, whoa. Yeah, it, like, it just damn. made me have to, like, really open my third eye 
to now I'm looking at <laughs> Meek Mill. Everybody. And I'm like, oh, you wasn't really a gangster. Like, mm. you wasn't really like that. And that's oh, that's okay. That's, that's fucked up. That's fine. Yeah. I don't I, I, I don't know. I didn't grow up in Philly. You just saying off his movements? Off his movements. Yeah. Off of the things that he says, off of the mm. lack of self awareness. Anybody that I've known to mm -hmm. really be like that or have any remnants of being like that has an ultra, super, hyper yeah. kind of self awareness to where they don't put themselves in compromising positions. And I think when Meek Mill gets on Twitter and Instagram and he's shooting a gun mm -hmm. and he's making vague threats to people while right? pushing prison reform when he's alluding to threats while pushing prison reform <laughs> and talking about i'm a billionaire and i want to clean up the it streets confuses like you. It, confuses it confuses me you. but yeah. i also think it confuses him because i yeah. don't think he is playing the character that he actually is but playing the character that he thinks he needs to be yeah yeah i, I completely agree like he's in the that. middle of figuring himself out especially with wale right i knew there was beef before this picture y'all remember the project meek and ross put out yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It wasn't that good. Right. It hit, was, hit a, it yeah, was, hit a mess. It, had, yeah. it has a few songs, a song. but I feel you. No, it, it had a few year, songs I year, like. Right? No, that shit was ass. No, I mean, personally, it had a two, three songs I like. You feel me? Out of but, 12. <laughs> <laughs> like, two, three songs I like. It was cool, right? Okay. And I ran some at my job. That was cool. It was an elevator together. But. Who, you and me? Yeah, and Ross. <laughs> One thing that stood out to me on that project was that Wale is featured on the project. But he is not on the same song as, as both Rick Ross and Meek. He's only on with Rick Ross. Exactly. Oh. That stood out to me like a sore thumb. I was like, wait, mm. what the fuck? Look. Yeah, I was like, what? what? This is like a MMG sort of reunion. Like you guys, you mm. two linked up. Y'all, y'all putting out music again. I'm excited. I see Wale was featured on the track list before the album came out. Then when I get to the song. Ain't no motherfucking Meek on here. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, bro. Y'all niggas is really playing in my face, which stuck out to me because this would be the perfect opportunity for the three of y'all to link up, hit a three-man weave again, and get it popping. Mm -hmm. As far as the picture goes for me, Wale, we spoke about it earlier, right? Probably street adjacent, right? Mm -hmm. Probably really excited about his event for WrestleMania weekend, et cetera. And when Dean sat down with academics, he told academics, like, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, yo. Like, a lot of the stories you heard me talk about in raps and rhymes and shit, those is about me. Mm -hmm. Those is about me. This is how I'm caught. So, and he also talked about how he knew, like, Wale knew he was gangster too. So, Dean, Dean was uh, Meek's muse? Not muse, but like, we could say- Muse like, is crazy. We could say That's muscle, crazy. right? I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's you. Know, <laughs> That's, That's actually mad funny. <laughs> I was just trying to call back from- uh, No, I, I know. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, no, I like no, that. No, I like yeah. that. Yeah, 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 D was his muse. <laughs> but he also said that Wale knows he gangster. So now, let me set this, this, this scenario real quick. Imagine being out at a club somewhere, right? And a nigga that you know put in work, who's- who you think to be cool or maybe not cool with somebody who doesn't like you asks for a picture. Mm -hmm. What the fuck you think the nigga was going to do? Think you thought you was just going to boss up like, nah, man, ain't going to front. You fuck with a nigga that don't fuck with me. So I can't take no pic with you. But I saw some shit where Wale yeah. even responded to it where he said, look, in this rap shit, a lot of times people that beef with each other that's personal, they mend it. So I stay out of it. Right. And I think... 50 said this a few years ago when it was, I want to say, it was Birdman and Lil Wayne. Uh, somebody had asked him how he felt about it. Whose side is he on? Yeah. And 50 was like, yo, that's family. That's internal. At the end of the day, everybody who's choosing sides, at some point, they're going to have to face the opposite side of who they chose. Yeah. Meaning, if you roll for Lil Wayne at that time, you're going to have to look at Birdman when Lil Wayne and Birdman Going reconcile. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, uh -huh. So I'm not going to pick a side yeah. because I understand <laughs> exactly. these niggas are family. It's yes. like if me and my like, man are going through some shit like, yeah. all right, yeah, nigga, that's me and my man. Mm -hmm. Now, if you saying fuck me mm -hmm. while me and my man is going through something, when me and him mm -hmm. make up, you're going to remember that. I got to remember you said fuck me. Now I see what it's you're fuck you for life. I see what you're saying. So yeah. while they said, look, Whatever they going through, that got nothing to do with me. Like, yeah, that's him and that's him, but I'm not going to shun him. Right. And again, if, if Wale is not a street nigga, but he's in Philly and he's approached by some street dudes who he may be cordial with, he's not going to like claim Meek Mill. Like, first that's of all, Meek, like, Meek, 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 What the Meek. fuck is he talking about? Like, Meek Mill, you what? have to learn how to 
tweet. <laughs> nah, I actually like his shit. We've literally <laughs> had this conversation before where he did some other crazy shit on Twitter. And I remember Pierre saying like, yo, typing just is not his forte. Yeah, that's, that's not his medium. Like, <laughs> That's not the medium he should be using. Like, he's just bad at tweeting. That's why he rap. <laughs> nah, like, you know how, 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 who was it? Mark Zuckerberg, the nigga from Facebook? Facebook, yeah. You know how they took Lil Boosie's Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, 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 meta. Elon needs to take this <laughs> Meek's Twitter. Twitter account away from him. <laughs> like somebody needs to just pull it. Elon loves like, this have shit. Just him log, log, log him like, out. It's, it like yeah, he doesn't do himself any services by it. Yeah, Elon gonna keep it up though. They got like hour long pornos on Twitter now. Holy shit! You seen that? I seen it across the, the timeline. Yeah. How you, how you, what you think? It's in his hmm? bookmarks. No, what you think of that? Hmm? Like what, when hmm? you seen this shit? Hmm? You saved it? You said? No, I'm asking. Hmm? That's I don't watch hard. porn no more. I told you. You stop? No, I, been t- t- I tell you every week. No, but no. Because you said you every can- week. How long was the shit though? Hmm? Whoa, huh? wait, yo. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, you said the. <laughs> what? Talk about the length of the video. <laughs> the length, the length uh, of what? Talk uh, about this meat conversation. Nigga, got the length of in, the in video. rare form. Bro. These niggas in rare oh, form. Man. Oh shit! <laughs> niggas talk about meat. They start talking about length. <laughs> you see them nigga? Calm down, bro. bro the length relax. of the video that you, I, the I, porno that I, you saw. I, 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 you just said you saw it. It was on my my shit. <laughs> you know when you be scrolling and that it be shit there? was hard. Hmm? Oh my god. <laughs> Reggie, help. <sighs> I didn't even know they were showing. I thought they took all the porn off of X. Nah, if anything, it's the Wild Wild West over there. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah? X. Because they got rid of all the restrictions Oh, and you shit. be seeing that shit too, Reggie? <laughs> no, I'm saying <laughs> when, they, when the switch up happened. Oh. Yes. Yeah, man. Okay. Let's pray for Wale and Meek, though, man. It's this whole thing see. just confuses me. Yeah, it's good, it's good to see Wale back outside. So he took a very long break. Mm-hmm. That's another thing too, son. Meek strikes me as one of those people that think ev- he knows everything that's going on. <laughs> Everyone knows everything that's going on in his life. Like, bro, these people are celebrities just as much as you are that have so much going on in their life with mm-hmm. family, with tasks, etc. Like, you think a nigga is keeping up with show beef? Cause you getting at it with academics on Twitter? Like, niggas is mm-hmm. niggas got shit going on, bro. Like, don't take it like that. Don't take it like that. But Wale definitely did post up a pic in a uh, a Philly 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 shop with the word vitriol. Uh, Google on Google, yeah, defined. I saw that. That was that was pretty smooth. You, I see that what you funny. doing, man. That was yeah, real smooth. Because just... he was insinuating that Meek doesn't know what it means. <laughs> oh really? Isn't that why he was doing that? I had, to, had to look it up. <laughs> a lot of niggas don't know what vitriol means. Vitriol. <laughs> yeah, that anger, that rage. Alex, if yeah. me and. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? If me and Savon were beefing, whose side would you take? What's what Savon <laughs> said? Or, what Savon said just now? Niggas don't take sides. So you're not gonna support me? That's wow. Who, that's who. What's the what's the shit? What's the shit, what's the shit you just? One. What's the shit you just said? You said you don't take sides because somewhere down the road is some shit, right? That boy's good. A- ain't that what, ain't that what he just said, right, Pete? Yeah. That's what he said, right? right? That's a yeah. fucked up question. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's a fucked up. question. <laughs> 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 you you gotta you're gonna let us. You gotta I ain't gonna lie. Damn, it's tough. Because you got to hear me out, Reg, right? This is my son I made this shit with, right? Yeah. But then Pete, you my people because we like a week away in birthday. Period. April so babies. I'm, I'm saying this shit. Like, I'm split. I think Alex will go with you. Fact. What the what fuck? I just said I did this shit with you, nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. What the fuck? Alex, Alex, Alex was like, bro, did you not hear no, anything no, no, no. I fuck? just said? Be, All I, I said was her and birthday. Alex really knows me. <laughs> so if me and you ever had like a quarrel, oh. I think he would be like, yeah, that nigga fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think like, what he do you mean? Would, yeah, yeah, yeah. To make me mad. Oh, okay. I see what you're trying to do. Okay, hold on. But it's like making J. Cole rap. Wait, what? Yeah, that's crazy. Making J. Cole rap? Yeah, that shit ain't gonna happen. That shit is done. Okay. Okay, that's that over. Was, that's that a four nigga. point. That's yeah, that nigga, it's over. That was, that was, that was an eye <laughs> joke. Um, okay, let's say. I love Reggie. Let's say. I love Savon oh, was shit. wrong in the situation. Yeah. But also, you've known Savon for like five years. Right. You're still taking my side? <laughs> it depends. That's crazy. Yo. If somebody. Where's the loyalty? Damn. If somebody fucking somebody, girl, we got beef. Yo, don't. Reggie, word. <laughs> yeah. The moment, Reggie, if you go hit my- I don't think I will. Yeah, if you go hit my man's girl, we're going to have an issue. All right? Yeah, word. If yeah, you don't, don't do, do that, that, we good. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to take my shorty. <laughs> yeah, man. We'll keep you updated with that shit. Uh, more beef real quick. City girls, city girls. They got it amended, though. It's like- <laughs> <laughs> The eclipse just started making everybody trip out. I think- 
like, it's yo, the, it's the full moon sino- uh, phenomenon. That has to do with That's something thing, because, right? yeah. like, why was everybody acting so crazy this weekend? Right, and and, and the earth. Oh, well, New York too. <laughs> yeah, New York had earthquakes. Wow, like, all in the same the week. Fuck? Eclipses and and earthquakes all on the East Coast in a week. The no, literally within two days. Like extra aggressive and horny. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yo, um, speaking of horny, didn't uh. One of y'all get a message. Huh? Can one of you share uh, it, please? What? Either what? Savon or Alex, because both of y'all fucking. You gotta read it in, in entirety, and don't think, huh? don't, don't you think say? you slick. Huh? You cut out when you send it to the huh? matter of fact. I'm gonna let you say what it first. The fuck you said. I'm gonna let you send it first or say it first, and then I'll explain what I noticed in the text. Oh what? my god! Uh, it was just mad extra this week, bro. Yeah, like, everybody were was horny. I don't this know weekend. if it was I, just like this, I got a DM this week. This is what it said. You ain't got to do this. Cause I'm not doing much. <laughs> no, just say it. We, we, it we won't. We won't reveal her identity. It's fine. That's what it said. Fuck. Don't do it, Alex. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing it. <laughs> oh! I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about Why? it. Why? I thought I'm about it. I thought. I'm telling you, don't do it. <laughs> you, Reggie. Don't Everybody do be just, listening just to this shit. Oh! Yeah. And, you, and you think it's Reggie? You don't never do know. Just okay, okay. Yeah. You know what? You I, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying now? Good choice. Good choice. Yeah, Yo, guys. Just you're not horny. If you're not watching on the YouTube, that was hilarious. Like watching <laughs> Alex make that decision in real time. Like really think. He's like, nah. I, I was, that was like, funny. I was, no, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm your boy. Yeah. Right, you're right. You're right. Just like, know, just I know you're like, oh, let's be content people, but <laughs> like in real life, I don't. I, I want the Use best. Use your imagination, you. guys. Use your imagination. To but shoot. not an earthquake, solar eclipse. That shit had us all fucked up. <laughs> I, honestly, I have never felt so <laughs> insignificant in my life. And so, and shout out to everybody who was tapped in in LA. Yeah. Shout out to everybody who's tapped in, in like Taiwan. <laughs> shout out to everybody who ever been hit with an earthquake. Oh, okay. because my <laughs> nigga, I was on Xbox at the time, middle of the work day. I'm on Xbox. I'm like, oh shit, I'm playing Call of Duty or whatever. I was playing 2K while you were on the clock, right? And yeah. my boy, he shot the right. shot. Boom! Shout out to my nigga Devi in the building. Dev, what up? Dev shot the shot, right? The nigga break crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, chill. I'm like, yo, chill. He like, yo, you felt that? I'm like, what? What you mean that I feel that? Like, yo, like, like, yo bro, on, what? Bro, what that do? Like, yo, what no, was y'all he, niggas? Bro, he's yo, not. Y'all just seen Black Mirror? <laughs> oh, shoot. With the, with the video don't game? Don't do that. <laughs> yo, yo. Remember what they was doing on the video oh. game? They was feeling shit from different parts of the world? Because they was both in the game. They was both homies playing? And then, I nah, can't put was, that on my homies. They was playing as females. I can't. Oh, fool. Man, I can't. Was Y'all was doing some Black Mirror games. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. My fault. <laughs> Dev, don't shoot me. <laughs> he was just trying to be here supporting. The nigga oh. shot the shot. <laughs> <laughs> it it bricked off the rim. Oh, y'all playing basketball? Okay. We playing two K. NBA two K. And he goes, yo, did you did you feel that? Pause. No, did No, but listen, because you got to. Bro, I never felt this in my nah, life. Because the control be vibrating, right? He oh lives in the gosh. Bronx. I'm in Long Island, Eastern Long Island. Yo, did you feel that? So when he asked me if I felt some shit from the Bronx, I'm like, no, nigga. Like, why would uh, I? You know, like, we're oh nowhere near God. each other. Crazy. But I felt the earth move. <laughs> Never and it f- made me think of all the niggas in Taiwan and LA. <laughs> that made me feel so insignificant oh. in life that somebody so far away could be affected by the same thing that, that I was affected by. It's pretty crazy. In the wow. same moment. It it really made me feel like none of this matters. Yeah. No, but I I I really Okay, when we're talking in the context of earthquakes, it's kind of crazy. But what Savon just said, I actually really like that feeling. Whoa, whoa. Like, I love when I just imagine, like, let's say I'm She's mad shaking. about... She's like, shaking, right? Not shaking, not shaking. <laughs> I, oh, my God, guys, I'm trying to, like, nah, I'm say a you, point. Because yeah. niggas be shaking yeah. shit. <sighs> nah, I'm with you, right? No, when yeah. I'm really stressed out about something, like, let's say, uh, I don't know, like, I have, like, a bill due tomorrow or something, and I'm sure, I don't know, not, like, something like that that really stresses you out. I'm just kind of, like... We're literally just all just floating on a big ass rock right now in the universe. <laughs> Does this shit really matter? It really doesn't. Like, no. oh, I know. Let, let's say like student loans are really stressing me out. I'm like, 
It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's like, yo, Who the cares? globe is moving around. Who cares? And we getting coffee. Who cares? Who cares? Like, what are, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Like, I'm fine. No, nah, I'm with the, you on the, that. The, the like, New York has been hit with mad hurricanes and like. Other and when shit. the sky was turning like red and shit. Yeah, like we've uh, seen a lot of smoke. wild shit in our Camera lives fires. in this region at least. Yeah, in this East Coast area, and even like. <clears throat> In the West Coast, they have like wildfires and shit. Like, but they we, used to. We've it. seen a lot yeah. happen in this world. But I think when you feel the earth <laughs> trembling from beneath your feet, yeah, I think that's a different type of holy shit. I don't matter. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Like mm-hmm. even a tsunami. And God rest the souls of all the people who lost their lives in the tsunamis years ago. Like that was a big deal. For sure. For sure. I remember. It that. made a little bit more sense in my head because I watched the day after tomorrow. Yo, that movie <laughs> no, for real. scarred me yeah. Yeah. forever. Crazy. I'll never forget. I watched, oh. it, I watched it on an airplane but, on the but, way to Korea. Yeah. Holy fuck. You're but, crazy. But, 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 <laughs> you're never, crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's not the time to watch it. <laughs> but Noah's all can't scare y'all. Nah. <laughs> I, oh, like, I like I like so but but that was all can scare you, huh? Oh, Jesus, sorry. God threw God threw a pair of chickens, a pair a pair of wolves, a pair of sheep, all on one little shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Huh? I've been going to church my whole life. <laughs> That's the one story don't, in the Bible. Say bars. Don't, wow. don't, don't, I, don't. I just say gotta bars. ask questions. Don't. Okay, wait. What's wait, your don't question? What? What's your question? I know he gonna say no. Because the nigga said Noah was doing shit where it's like yes. Nigga, he had he had the horse. He had two horses in there. Remember, it was a pair each, right, Pierre? Two, two of a kind. I'm trying to tell you. I know what's going on. <laughs> I love how he's like, right, Pierre. <laughs> that's my that's my Bible. Uh, I'm not gonna do my this. brother in Christ. Yes, my, that's my brother in Christ. I, yeah. What I will say yeah. is, I empathize with anybody who who has had the ground shake. <laughs> yes, and didn't ask for it to shake. <laughs> <laughs> I I like that reminder that like we're, we're chilling nothing. right now. But yeah. Mother Nature is like, yo, I can really shake shit up whenever I want. Facts. Like, yeah. stop. The, like, like, the other scary do you, thing. Like, it, like, we come in this podcast every single Tuesday. It's routine. Like, in life, most of us have a routine. Yeah. yeah. All it takes is for the earth to be like, I'm done. I'm going to fuck this shit up. <laughs> yeah. Like, your yo, routine and your life is done. Like, again, I work in really, really high buildings. Like, I'm on like the 38th floor of my building. Yeah, Jesus. I'm on the 36th, yo. Thankfully, yeah. I wasn't in the Damn, office I'm that the, day. Damn, I'm on the fourth floor. Fuck. Damn. Word? <laughs> Peasant. I ain't shit. <laughs> I want to be on the fourth, though. Wow. The 36th floor, when all this shit was going down, makes you think crazy shit. Were you in? Yeah, bro, the this shit was shit. Gonna happen? Yes, and the one thing about tall buildings like that, if you guys don't know, like, they naturally move on their own. When the they wind sway. When they, the sway. Wind they sway a little bit, right? Because of how they're constructed. So it's like, nigga, I thought, shit, I thought a uh, little baby put out another hit. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit was shaking. I didn't know what was going on. Like, shit fucked me up. Yeah, the other thing is, the stallion started getting to it. <laughs> Try to tell you, Hara Ari, I thought they was. Yeah, and Ice Spice. Yeah, yeah, I thought they was all competing. Ice Spice did take credit for that. She I ain't gonna lie. If you have one, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. one of the top female rappers to just like, mm-hmm. maybe court. Mm-hmm. I know exactly who. Oh, I know nah. who Alex will. We got Meg, got Cardi. I'm gonna I'm leave Nikki out of it. She's an OG. Meg, Cardi, Glorilla. Wait, sexy red. Can I say it? Nah, Wait, I feel like me, I. No, no. Let me tell me, and then I want to see his response. Don't tell. I know. Me I know response. who Alex. Who do you think? I just write. It. I'll, I'll write it down. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna yeah. change I'm, my answer. It, I, I probably know. just liked her picture last night. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Don't say it! Don't say it! Don't say it! Wait, are we text? Okay. <clears throat> I got the She's been in my job too. I, I got okay. choked. I got choked up when she came to my job. I just want to see if I if I know my friend. Let me like say I it? think I do. Yeah. No, you say it. Emilio Pucci, the good bitch on Ducey. Mm, 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 That's why mm, mm. I call myself very observant. Cause that's Flo Millie right there. She I wrote. wrote I wrote Flo Millie. She said Flo Millie. I, wrote, I know my friends. That was okay. Like I wrote sexy she red. Me. That was like guess. I know Alex way too well. Wow. And second place, Alex. I know you better than you know yourself. Cause second place will be Cali. Mm-hmm. God damn, she know my social security too. Mm-hmm. I do. It's How true. You know? I, do. I just, I'm just very observant. I know he'll really like. Yo, can you do, can you do me next? No, no, you know. No, wait, I know no. yours. I'm not gonna say on air. Oh yeah, you we would? know yours too. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know yours. You said it. The whole group. You chat got knows. tight. Yeah, you yeah. got tight when I tried to get y'all linked up. No, and wait, shit. who I'm thinking about? For no, I'm talking about a singer. the rapper. No, oh, I'm talking about rappers. Oh, the rappers. I want a rapper, bro. Ice Spice. Oh yeah, Cali G. Yeah, I think she might have had that. shit. I'm right. Damn. Not Carol G. Carol G. Carol G. G. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I mean, Savon, you have. <laughs> I hate both of y'all. Savon has been to every single in my bag. So. 
No, I love y'all yeah, niggas. Yeah, what do you expect us to think, great. No, I love y'all niggas. Listen, my niggas, man. Before we get out of here, though, real quick, we have to end solemnly. I'm sorry. <sighs> Chance the rapper and his wife have uh, announced a divorce. Oh shit! About time. What? Damn, Saban, what the fuck? Why? Why you Nobody want to see their favorite artist like happy, and he was never my favorite. But I know there's a lot of people who fucked with him. Yeah, especially coming drugs. off of acid. Nah, rap. Get on drugs. <laughs> Don't wish for divorce. That's mean. Nah, you got to sometimes. <laughs> some, some, yeah, I wish J. Cole got a divorce. <laughs> what? You? <laughs> J. Cole is wild. Yeah, yeah, stop him. it. Nah, that, that, if that nigga was unhappy, yeah. he might not have took that You know approach. what? You're right. Not that he should get a divorce, but obviously J. Cole's focus is elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. literally. That's why you shouldn't get a wife if you're trying to compete in life. Right? Oh, my God. No, for I mean, real. No, no, no. I disagree I mean, because... Why? No, no, no. I, when, when guys get that one girl, they really get their shit together. But yes, you don't yes, want to get your shit together in war. Not yeah. as a rapper, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need something to die for. Yeah, you need to, to be, like, for. a little unhinged. Right. Facts. Like Drake. Right. Absolutely. You got to kind of pick a side with that, right? Because it's either you're all love or you all hate. Like, to Wait, be, you can have both? Eh, it's, it's tough, though. I think it's really tough to be in love. Like, I'm trying to figure out if Bryson Tiller is in love right now because his album that he just put out is so fucking good. Banger. I love it's it. It's a fucking yeah. banger, bro. Like, this shit sounds like adult trap soul. I right. can't explain right. it. Like, it just, it just sounds really, really good. That's perfectly put. Right? But I was afraid because it looked like he was in a, re- a happy, loving relationship. I haven't seen the two of them, but he probably well could be. Yeah. But uh, it, it takes a certain level of uh, individualism. To kind of get into a, a a competitive bag that that you're used to while you're in love, right? When you get in love, I think it starts to look a little bit differently because you actually have love in you, right? Mm-hmm. You, you, like it's hard. You got to be able to compa- compartmentalize, Com- compartmentalize, and that's difficult, right? Now, Chance the Rapper could not comp- compart <laughs> that word. Ooh, yeah, that's that hard. Word. Compartmentalize. I'm so sorry, y'all. Uppercut is you. Yeah, oh d right on the chin, right there. Boom. Like, now, Hen- like Hendrick to J. Cole. <sighs> y'all good no, today. No, Reg. No. Nah, y'all good today. No, Reg. Imagine being synonymous with getting hit on the chest. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> we talking about chance, bro. That's J. Cole's fault. He feel said bad that. for chance, nah, bro. Fault, okay, man. let's talk about chance. Okay. Yeah, we feel bad for chance. Last time we heard from chance, he put out an album. It was The Big Day 2019. Uh, I think it's rumored the reason why he even put that project out is because I think he was maybe cheating on his wife or had infidelity oh, issues. Oh, shit. I didn't hear that Yo, part. Yo, shout yeah, out to him. Yeah, yeah. Oh my not, gosh! Not hey, yeah. bro. I'm, I want my artist to be <laughs> fucked up. I'm sorry. You chose to be an artist, so now you got to take what comes with that. I don't want you to be happy. See, okay. the thing is though, when he put out that album, he spoke about his wife a lot, and people hated him. So mm-hmm. he was cosplaying. He was cosplaying. That's what all of he was, he really want to be a hoe. They cos like yep. yeah, he if really a nigga be a makes a, a rap <laughs> album about his wife, yeah. he is. <laughs> and he felt the need to like <laughs> to, to put an album out like, like yeah nah. like to like <laughs> bro if a nigga gets and hears a fucking Kanye West beat <laughs> with the sample it says I love my, I love wife. my wife that nigga mm-hmm. is swimming in pussy that's he's, the only thing he's trying thing you can to like do. cancel shit out yeah, that's how you can't like cosplay, bro. But like this I, makes us it's still sharp and steel. He definitely put his career on the line with doing that though. Because yeah. at that time coming off an of acid rapper, what was it, three? What was it? The album three they they kept fucking parading around. Oh, coloring book. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was coloring book, right? Just mm-hmm. coming off those two projects, right? They were so highly heralded. Yeah. And he was super creative with how chance naturally is. He put that out, he put out the big day. Which alludes to, you know, him getting married, et cetera, and people hated him for it. I just wanted to tell y'all before we cut out of here, it's our fault. Uh, it's our fault. Yeah. Uh, if we would have loved the album, wifey wouldn't have been tight. Uh, there's clips of him going to Carnival, rumping on Big Nyash, Big Booty. Uh, if we would have liked the album, he wouldn't have been in Carnival. Okay, so next time your artists want to pivot, <laughs> okay, next time your artists want to pivot and show his love and appreciation, just how we talked about Cole today, right? Coming to a realization, right? Whatever the fuck y'all was saying, <laughs> right? What, did y'all, what, was, what was that kumbaya shit y'all was saying, Reggie what? Pierre? Yeah. What's the realization that the we came spirit. The spirit, right? Yeah. This nigga had a spirit of wanting to talk love about his wife, and we fucking hated it, and we ripped it, and we talked shit about him. He hasn't put any music out, and he still got the three hat on. So- <laughs> Like it's 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 sometimes sometimes <laughs> got that gangster. Sometimes we gotta look in the mirror. All right? Alex, it's not our fault. That album sucked. <laughs> I, I you bet know it why it sucked? Look, I'm not. I'm not gonna look, no, pretend like we should have liked it. it. We shouldn't have liked it. But that's what happened. They would have broken niggas, up anyway. When niggas get happy. Again, in hindsight, K O D. 
Peguei Rafa 1. <risos> Damn glove. Aham. Uh -huh. Come on! Nah, he's, he's slid on that. Uh -huh. This is terrible. Tough Wait. <laughs> Wait, this I, was, I, was, I, was, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know if Alex is being sarcastic or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I'm this like, is on DSPs. <laughs> yeah, that's on the Alex. That one's called Big Fish. Nah, I it, was panicking. Tough, <laughs> no, I thought Alex really thought that shit was hard. I was like, what the fuck is going on? That's a tough beat, stop, though. Stop, and people yeah, like, yo, that's stop. tough. That's a tough beat. That's how you know a nigga married. When he takes that shit, that's a tough beat. Yo, Pierre Mary, he liked the album. First of all, I never took time to listen to that. No, Pierre, it was like this shit feel like a hand glove. And Pierre was like, "Yo, that shit hard." That's a that's a tough beat. Nah, you in love, bro? That's a be in love, bro. Yo, it's okay to be for niggas like me right now. You know what it is? You be fighting. You know what I want? You be fighting love. You be fighting love. Who be fighting love? You, you and Alex. Who? Don't put me in that. Nah, you and Alex. You was Kiki, ha ha. I be taking love. Hey, alright, my fault. Okay. Got it. Everybody got real quiet, real taken. quick. All right, now oh God, no video like, on that one. Pierre was like me this episode, <clears throat> like a J Cole fan, and now he's like <laughs> in love and shit. Like nobody want to hear that, bro. When they talk about <laughs> rap, fit me like a damn glove. Hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like a damn glove. That's like that Jack Harlow shit. Yo, I was just <laughs> thinking that. I'm What's sorry, the ball? I just Say the ball. Say the ball. Say the ball, Reg. I think my. Grandpa's gonna have a heart attack if I pull a hundred grand out. So, so I'm not, not gonna, gonna pull a hundred grand out. <laughs> Alex, I was just thinking that in I'm my it, head. Man, what you twin? ESP. Man, what you ESP. Yo, this ESP, nigga, bro. like, nobody wanna hear that shit. <laughs> so now every time I hear, first thing first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. <laughs> It's the same <laughs> shit. So I'm not going to pull a honey <laughs> grand. <laughs> that shit feel like first a hand glove. First things first. <laughs> that shit feel like a hand glove. <laughs> <laughs> you know that nigga? Bro. No. That's, hey, that's on the album that we hated. Wait. What did J. Cole? You What'd know you say, what I'm tight? Mm -hmm. Because I know Big Sean is mad right now. <laughs> nigga, put out a book. Big Sean and J. Cole could have been like, <laughs> they, they, like yo, they, their careers could have exchanged, bro. Yeah. Big Sean could have been Ken, like J. Mm. Cole. My fault, not yeah. Kendrick. Yeah. Not yeah. Kendrick. He not could. Kendrick. Yeah. Oh, Big Sean yeah. could have been J. Cole. Yeah, he could have. Like, got comfortable though. It's so synonymous, their careers mm. to me now. Wait, so that, like, I'm looking so at everything with like, in, in, in hindsight, bro, yo, these niggas be drag queens. We could throw Chance in the playing tournament, right? No. Oh, no. shit. My fault. All right. He was married. <laughs> All right, but I don't want yeah. no married nigga to be the best at nothing. My fault. Kendrick Damn. is literally married. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Like, I don't want Kendrick no, married, bro. so he can't be the best. <laughs> Get yeah. the fuck out nah, of here. I'm dead ass. Yo, I love Save on Logic. <laughs> nah, I'm dead ass, bro. If you got something to live for, oh <laughs> you God. can't be the best. He got kids. He got. He what got, Drake got? Hmm? Kids. He nah, got he kid? don't even like that nigga. Yo. That he love that he nigga. Barely, That's why he keep putting the braids on him. He didn't even That's want us to putting, know about that nigga. No, he love that nigga. He Remember what he said? What did that nigga say? He wasn't hiding. That nigga Drake don't love nothing. He was trying to protect him. Yeah, he wasn't hiding the world from a child. He was hiding. You know what he said? That's the most he said. If you want to be the best. He What's the like, bullshit he said? He said he wasn't hiding the world from his child to child. No, honestly, I wasn't world. hiding my child from the world. world. I, was her, I was hiding the world from my, my child. child. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you know how I know niggas you know? like that's really the best don't care about nothing? Because mm -hmm. I ain't never heard Savannah James' voice until she got a pod. <laughs> You're about to say you got a pod now. That's, but that's what, what I'm saying. Like, talk about on the pod. But that's what I'm saying. If you love someone, you know how... If you love someone, you just <laughs> don't treat them bad. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Treat them bad. He was looking for that pocket. Don't do that, guys. No, don't do that, guys. He couldn't. That nigga said, I was looking for that pocket. He was like, a boy, a boy, a boy. I was trying to find it with him. Nah, don't do that. Just let that thing go, bro. Just let that thing go. Just let that thing go? I'm telling you. Let that thing go? Bro, love is a distraction from greatness. You said let that thing go? Love is a distraction from greatness. Ah, 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 ah. Satanic. Why do you know the lyrics? <laughs> it's, I would be bumping this in a whip. This is shit. <laughs> this is when you was happy. 
That's what you said. Like, nah, that's, that's, that's what I was my mom was thinking, right? That's my right. 19, right? About 2019. That's not a tough beat, though. It is you a tough beat. You hear this thing in the background? That's not a tough oh. beat, though. Yeah, I ain't going front. So me and Reggie agree. That's a tough beat. I do like the beat. Y'all are the two happy ones. Nah, we're going to get out of here, though, baby. I didn't say I like yo, the song. Yo, save on Alex. Let, let love win, kids. Let love we win. We do. We do. Cap. Nah, for We real. love you, bro. I'm not. We love I'm everybody. Not me. But shout out to Chance the Rapper. Hope everything. Yeah. Shout out to Bryson Tiller. Facts. Big Bryce. Big Bryce. I know we spoke about it, but like, I feel like yeah. his album is actually him. Yes. I feel like- Absolutely. If you know or if Absolutely. you've gotten a chance to like watch Bryson Tell over the last few years, mm-hmm. he's a nerd. Mm-hmm. He's a nerd. Anime. Who can sing a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who has relationship problems. Also, he yeah. said, he said this from his own mouth, like, Music isn't his number one anymore. It's literally video games is number yeah. one. Oh, wow. He said yeah, that. He yeah, 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 so yeah, he did. So his focus is he, like very nerdy. So. I will say this. I'm very impressed that uh, it's no longer his focus and he's still putting out this high quality music. Yeah, because that should sound good. <laughs> yeah. Coming off the yeah. anniversary uh, album, right, which was basically like a deluxe to the mm-hmm. Trap Soul mm-hmm. uh, edition. This was this was amazing. Like I I I, I literally have no com- phenomenal. And I, again, you know, I always like to talk about my standouts. Calypso, Savon was oh high God. on Calypso. Yeah. That. I love Calypso. Yeah, yeah. Calypso was up there. Attention, stay go, persuasion. Come on, the wordplay. I love the Victoria Monet song. Oh yeah, yeah. come on, her no, wordplay. Thank you. Persuasion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Persuasion. It sounds like no, thank you was fire too. A Chris Brown yes. song. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Persuasion sounds like a Chris Brown song. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I'm wrote waiting it. to hear Chris Brown on every time I hear that song. I'm yeah. like, oh wait, where's Chris? He about to come right. Yeah. <laughs> Undertow was also good. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, yo, um, which which track was it that? Because I know before he was having issues getting song or uh, samples cleared. Yeah, he got a song on there. Um, I forget the name of it, but it's a very popular uh sample or song that he sampled. Okay. Um, I was just wondering if that was one of the ones I was kind of... Oh, holding. Rich Boy. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Um, what's the, what's the song? Throw some D's on yeah, that hoe. Yeah, yeah. Just okay, bought it no. Cadillac. Throw, throw some D's. J- 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 yeah. Just bought it Cadillac. That's my shit. Nah, that was but my MySpace <laughs> song back in the day. Even Bryson, he's a testament. Like, yes. His first album, he was unhappy. He was heartbroken. Yes. Second album, he found love. It was public. It was open. He got rid of that shit. Yeah. Now he's back. Here he go. Yeah, him, right? But is he is he like single and heartbroken now, or are we just alleging? Yeah, that? I don't know. Uh, Any nigga but, dedicating this... his life to video games ain't getting like the love they need. <laughs> hey, he, or he might he's be not outside own. anymore. Yo, so you, now all he does is on, video games. You was playing. You, you just said a little while ago you was playing video games, right? And I I admit I don't get the love I need because you be hiding from it. Oh, you be running. <laughs> Damn, how, now what? You run from it. <laughs> I'm honest. Ah, you running from that love. You too, Alex. No, nah, nigga, not me. Y'all in the same boat. I, if anything, I be, I be, shit. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Too much. I, I embrace <laughs> too much love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, if anything, man, I'm, like, I'm see, y'all niggas is crazy. Don't <laughs> we talk about anything else here? Yeah. Do you want anything else here? Um. <laughs> nah, look, 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 nah not, shout out to Bryson Tiller, though. He's like, he's like, can we, sure, can we change the subject? Sure. No, 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 sure. shout out to Bryson yeah. Tiller, though. Uh, no, I think that's all I got. I don't think I have anything else, man. I'm, I'm sorry again to all the J. Cole fans. Sorry. We'll see how it de- develops. I don't know if he could like pull himself out of this. Yeah. Um, I'm waiting to see what Drake does. Metro, Future, they got part two dropping on Friday. Yeah. I don't think if I had a prediction, and by the time this comes out, the album will be out like in 24 hours, so I don't really know if this is a prediction. But I don't think Kendrick will be on it. I don't think they'll have another Drake disc. I think they did what they intended to do with the first one. Mm-hmm. And now this one will be just about the music. And they're going to like let it breathe. And yeah, stuff. I think this is just going to be about the music. And I think Drake is on the clock. Yeah. Oh, that's on sure. the clock. J. Cole sure. didn't do him any favors. At all. <laughs> if anything, he probably got him more prepared. <laughs> like, oh, all right, yeah. cool. That's how homie rocking over there. All right, that's how I got to come to. And I, I and, wish I would have said this yeah. earlier. I do think mm-hmm. Drake is going to respond. Oh, for sure. Yo, he, he I to. cannot like wait sure. because like. He's going to respond. When, okay, seeing how J. Cole did it and then how Drake it made me think of Drake. Did people forget like when the Meek Mill um, beef and Drake was happening? Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> he went to, I think it was OEO Fest. Mm-hmm. He literally dedicated, when he dropped back to back to Meek Mill, he literally took the stage, center stage, and he started projecting memes <laughs> into the background of Meek Mill yeah, and started making fun of him and rapped back to back. Now that's how you do it. Now, okay? That's how you do it. Your that is entertainment. And like, that's from a Cole fan, yo. That shit was so funny. Like, go back and watch it. That shit was completely unhinged like no, drake is a wild boy no that ass man you think drake has more pressure on his back now uh i don't think he has pressure on his back because i think people expect for him to show up mm-hmm. for sure if anything they're probably just more disappointed with because again we've never seen cole uh tested right 
<laughs> so now we kind of got that out of the way. Like, all right, cool. That's cool. What he did with the test. Like, this is what know, he did with that? Yeah, we know Drake likes to respond. So, uh. is there a victory, Reggie? T- tournament. Hmm? <laughs> to me, when I when I hear victory, I still think of Drake, Kendrick, and Cole. Even and you don't... and my my point is, you guys don't have to agree because I don't yeah. care. <laughs> like <laughs> we're not real. all gonna agree. Like who? Yeah. Like who is about? Like it's fine. Him not wanting to compete with the two of them does nothing for you. Last question. No, because yeah. I literally. I mean, I know we already yeah. talked about it yeah. at nausea, but like, yeah. um, I see it as like he literally lost the championship game, but I'm not gonna forget his entire career. Yeah. Okay, like he still made it to the final. Gotcha. He literally lost really, really bad, yeah. but I'm not about to fucking be like, okay, you don't exist now, bye. Like, I'm not about to do that. And and let me just say before we end too, for me, listen, I'm all <laughs> about competition. I love competition. I, I, that's, that's how I breathe. Not that's my today. second nature. But again, I could understand both sides. You know, he don't want to do it. And yo, it's a time of war. You got to do it. So I understand both sides. All right. Let me see real quick. Hold up. Before we get up out of here. I was trying to love you, baby. If that's what you wanted. I know this nigga ain't got no wife. I got the bitches if you want to prove. Stop trying to act like you was bulletproof. But now you looking at me confused. Yeah, I just wanted to intro this shit. I'm thinking about driving my birthday, man. That's fine. Oh, oh that's what you're playing. Oh, that's... You know what? I was quiet. I was like, oh I my God. He... No, no, no. I was trying to listen too, but then I was like, damn, I don't want to be like, who is this? And it's like a really popular <laughs> rapper, and then you guys judge me. <laughs> Wait, nah. does you want it or you produce yeah, it? Yeah, I made the whole beat. That's all me. Fine. Yeah, okay. My song, though. That's that's my um my people, Sachi. Sachi's so artist I'm working with. Okay. That's she is tough. so fire, bro. Like, that's I tough. get a blend of like. Dej Loaf and A Boogie. I don't know. She's great. Mm-hmm. She has a great voice. You fade we'll that out, posted. Posted. I could, but I, you know. Nah, you gotta let it. Yeah. Wait, tell them the, the, the drop date so that they can look oh, yeah, out April for 16th, it. April 16th. Stream that. <clears throat> April 16th. Go stream that. Stream uh, that for his birthday present, guys. Yeah, that's what I want for my birthday. Anyway, you guys have been incredible. Yo, what's your, um, what's yeah. your, what, you still got your, your drop? Mm-hmm. Your tag? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you yeah. Still got that? That shit hard. <laughs> that shit hard. Niggas don't know about the tag. I mean, no know about the tag, you heard? <laughs> With that being said, yeah, this is the yeah, 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 Yo, don't have a coming off like that. You can't just leave Alex hanging like that. He was trying to dab you. Yeah, you left my shit hanging. Damn, that's crazy. He didn't catch it, though. You know, I just, P.S., shut up. You were supposed to just let me fade out into the black. Nah, 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 because somebody will see it. Oh, my fault. That's a fact. You good. With that being said, as we always say, if you made it this far into the podcast, yeah. There is no reason you aren't subscribed. We do have a Twitter slash X community. Yes. Make sure y'all go tap in over there. Yeah. It is the Need to Know podcast. It's what you need to know, when you need to know, on the Need to Know podcast. Shout out to my nigga Frankie, you heard? <laughs> That's our in-house alien. We out of here. Gang. Gang. You look just like him.